Uh, we live. Uh, we live. Seems good. Fantastic. Hey, Velda. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for hanging out right from the start of the stream. Let's get into it. I am clasping my hands in anticipation of uh, setting up this, how you say, energy beaming. Uh, what do we need? Superconductive cable is the only new ingredient, right? And I think we were... We just finished building a block for that. Um, that's Holmium Cable. Uh, I messed up. Okay, let's let's fix that, shall we? Um, I've got my spider here. I don't remember why I was sitting in the outposter, but this is our priority for the moment. Um, let's. Stop that for now. I'll just let the spiders pick up uh, this Holmium cable, actually. Oh, that's right. Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was not... It, we produced this so slow, I was thinking I would maybe only ever use uh, short trains for this. Um... Don't include that part. Uh, I was thinking I'd probably only ever use short trains for this, so I just set those uh, chests to be blocked off for now. So let's pick this up and this up. And once that's done, undo, and add some output belts. Actually, maybe some undergrounds would look better here. Uh, not really. Well, if they go from here to here to here... That could work. Yeah, that actually fits perfectly, so I'm happy with that. Uh, this part does not fit perfectly. About four on this end, and four... I can probably live with that. What did we just finish researching? Material Science Pack 3 things. Whatever they may be. Fantastic. Um, that's pretty consistent, actually. Surprisingly. Let's add our inserters. And we need some output in the middle as well. Hey, Zura. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I see a lot of ship integrity queued. Nice. Yep. Uh, plus 300, or was it plus 400? We're going to be... We're going to be going from 500 to... Let's see. 100, 200, 300, 400. 500 to 900, which, uh, considering the initial bit of space that you need, it's probably practically like doubling the spaceship. Um, let's turn this around. And I need to merge this in here somewhere. About this. In which case, this can go over here. Block the left side. Oh. Um, we'll still be able to output this, it's fine. 
And it won't still be enough. Always need more ship integrity to make bigger ships. Indeed. Never big enough. Um, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to playing around with just how fast we can get a spaceship eventually. Alright, so that's all of our outputs. Um, except for fluid up here. Or anywhere. That's probably why all of these have made exactly four products. So we're not actually missing an input. That's good. Um, and why... Wait, what? Oh. Um, hold on. Okay, I think this is supposed to be 25 degree thermofluid pickup, but I connected it to... Um, I connected it to the 275 degree fluid. Whoops. Wait, it's everywhere. How is... How did this get connected? Oh, I see. Alright, well let's do something about that, shall we? Um... I think I just need to not have this connection here. So, let's put a pump there. Can you hurry up making dinner? I'm starving. <laughs> Uh, nope. Okay, uh, where are we? Do we have enough room in these pipes? We should. It's just the fluid hasn't equalized yet. Okay, cool. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. Um, I think we're going to get some mixed fluids here. D oh, you think it's funny? Ha, <laughs> starvation. Wow. Oh, boy. Okay, I see how it is. Um, if I... Uh, I can't exactly, like, stop the machines from going. I think I'm going to have to kill a little bit of thermofluid to fix this. Oh, it's taking longer to drain this than I thought it would as well. Oh, no. Okay, um, deconstruction planner, inserters, uh, stop the input. Does this one still have 5.1 super? Thermo fluid. I think we can. I think we can survive getting rid of five point one. Um, this one is going to be more of a problem. So we've already got a whopping eighty six over here. Alright, are we done? Are we still pumping? We are. How much is still on this side? Uh, a little too much. Can we squeeze another pump in here somewhere? Perhaps? Mm. How about this? May as well pick this up while we're at it. We can always actually build that when we need it. Zero? Really? Wait, this is connected, isn't it? Oh, this one's blocked? Wait, how's this one? Oh. So each pipe section, it seems like, can only have a a certain type of fluid in it, I guess? 
Hmm. Yeah, didn't didn't always used to work that way. So I guess there's no negative 273 degree thermofluid over here. Does that mean we're almost done draining this uh, precious, precious fluid? We're getting there. Okay. Um... And I think we've already set the mall to build our new stuff, or have we not? Uh, I don't think so, actually. Beaming. Energy beaming. We need energy beam emitter, energy beam chamber, energy beam injector, energy beam receiver. Okay, those are all going to be easy to find, at least. BEA... And what the, uh, I don't think there are any prerequisites as far as I'm concerned here. Uh, Zura, thank you very much for the gifted subs. Um, oh, nay, enjoy it. Oh, Jonate. Jo 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 the J was on the on the first line for some reason. Here, Carl. Thank you. Much appreciated once again, Zura. Um. Max consumption on 100 megawatt. What is a chamber? Must be connected to an energy beam emitter. Other, cha other chambers can be connected to the end or middle of either side. Energy beam em injectors can be connected to the sides only. I thought this would be like heat pipe or something. Oh, and we've got radar construction pylons now. That's cool. Um... But I'm more interested in these for now. Whoa, what is this? Wow. That is so much bigger than I thought it would be. Uh. Okay. That is... So maybe it is like a heat pipe? Must be connected to an energy beam emitter. Other chambers can be connected to the end or middle of either side. Energy beam injectors can be connected to the sides only. Energy beam injectors can be connected to the side only. Must be connected to an energy beam emitter. Okay. Beam. So this goes here, perhaps. And then... Injectors can only be connected to the size, but emitters can be either, I guess. We're gonna need more space to play with this. Uh, I guess it... I guess the big thing, the beam... Oops. This is gonna fit... No, it does not fit here very nicely. Okay, what about... How big is an injector? Oh, it's quite... It's narrow, so we can put those here, I guess. Um... So this is an emitter. The central building that generates an inner... Intersurface energy beam can be used as a weapon or to transfer power... To an energy beam receiver requires attached energy beam chamber and connected energy beam injectors. Beam strength is based on the number of injectors. Okay. Um, can these things connect to each other in series? Energy beam injectors can be connected to the sides only. Other cha oh, this is a chamber. Other chambers can be connected to the end or middle of either side. So we could connect them like this if we want to. Um, and what was the other thing? That's a receiver. Captures an energy beam as heat. The emitter must be energized. 
must be in energized mode and the target must be on the receiver. Okay. So does that mean... Ah, uh, okay. Does that mean we're just going to use regular heat pipes? Um, and a typical nuclear reactor-like setup um, to get electricity out of this? Is a Bologna sandwich an acceptable breakfast? Uh, I think an acceptable breakfast is anything that takes the minimum of effort and doesn't taste bad. Uh, and bonus points for nutrition. Alright, we're getting close to draining absolutely all of this uh, fluid back to where it needs to go. Um, we're obviously not going to get any of these built until we get a significant amount of superconductive cable back at uh, back at the mall. How much do we need to make this stuff? Um, let's see. Oh, we've got a tier 3 computer already. Quantum supercomputer, a hundred bioelectric data. Wow. A thousand advanced neural gel, a thousand processing units. These are not cheap. Okay. Two hundred, fifty, a hundred, twenty. It's only twenty for the receiver. Um, okay. I'll just set this thing to request um, a short train of superconductive cable. Uh, and then... So how is this going to work? Well, it must be attached to an energy beam chamber and connected to an emitter. Yes. Injectors have a fixed power draw. Oh, so these just... These consume electricity and convert it to the heat that we're going to be... Um, I mean, it's not... We're not beaming it as heat, but I may as well think of it that way. Um, abstract that other stuff out that isn't part of the game mechanics. Um... So it's going to consume electricity. Each one increases the energy sent, giving more heat to the receiver, or increases the speed and damage of the beam weapon. Okay, so we don't really benefit from having more emitters, unless we want to send the power, uh, send the energy to different places. Which we will probably want to do. wonder how I should... Okay. Uh, I heard that it's not just the solar system. We can beam this stuff anywhere. Hmm. So we're going to want to make a lot of these things. I would love to... oh wow. I spent all this... uh, spent all this time on, like, bigger nuclear reactors and stuff, and now I'm already looking at, like, oh, I want to change all the logistics for power completely. Um, but one thing at a time. Uh... What? 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 How did... oh, wrong button. Okay. So I think we want, like... We probably just want some standard number of... injectors... and then an emitter or two... or... F or something. Um... 
Especially, I don't know. I need some more space to design this. If we have our beam emitters here, and we can have lots of injectors. Wait, what? Why doesn't this line up? Is it the same over here? It doesn't have to be horizontal, does it? This... yeah, this is actually... This looks like it lines up, but this certainly doesn't. I think you lose efficiency the further you beam it. Not sure how much, though. Okay, interesting. Midden, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um... Do we, do we lose any efficiency from having more beam chambers? Or is it just more expensive to build this? Is that the only downside? Multiple other chambers can be connected to the end or middle. Energy beam injectors can be connected to the sides only. I could have one big array of... Um, lots of emitters and injectors, theoretically. Rotate one by 90 degrees, they are meant for the sides. Uh, th th they're meant for, like, this. Yeah, it seems like they... They don't really line up, unless I'm missing something. Um, so it's a little bit of a pain that these things are just a little bit wider than the chambers. Otherwise we could easily, uh, easily fit them together like that. But I'm thinking something like... What? Hmm. If I, if I want one big array, it's going to get more expensive to do relatively little. Um... How much does one of these things put in. Crafting speed 1. That doesn't tell us a whole lot. Max consumption 100 megawatts. Okay, so we need 10 of these to transmit a gigawatt. Oh, wait, that's the chamber. The chamber has a max consumption of 100 megawatt, not the injector. Must be attached to an energy beam chamber and connected to an emitter. Injectors have a fixed power draw. Each one increases the energy sent, giving more heat to a receiver. Or increases the speed and damage of the beam weapon. But it doesn't tell us how, how much we get out of an injector. I think I'm just going to have to start playing with it um, and seeing what happens. Uh, so the smallest design we could do for this would be something like so. And we could even do two emitters if we want to. Um, but this only consumes 100 megawatts. Uh, if we're bottlenecked on 100 megawatts, I don't think we're going to bother with something of this size. Um, so this would be 1.2 gigawatts. W would we be bottlenecked on these things? I can't tell until we start playing with it. Um, if they would be a serious bottleneck, 
I mean, at worst, we would want to do something like this. And some arbitrary length of these. And then a beam emitter or two on the ends. No, I meant putting the injectors on the long side of the chamber. Um, it says that you can only put the injectors on the sides. Wait, does that mean... Does it mean here? Must be connected to an emitter. Oh, must be connected to an emitter. So does that mean we can't have, like, a series of these things? And then, like, the emitters on the edge. It is some sort of sending energy to a different planet. Yes, it is. Should be several injectors per chamber. And several chambers per emitter. Okay. So we don't need an emitter connected to every individual chamber. Energy beam injectors can be connected to the sides only. I, I guess the sides are here, and, and this would be the ends. Um, so if that's the case, there's really only one design, right? Unless, unless we can connect these like so. Other chambers can be connected to the end or middle of either side. Oh, hang on. It doesn't mean we could do this, does it? I don't think so. Other bit ch chambers can be connected to the end or middle, which is very clear. Um, this is the end, this is the middle, but then it says the sides only for the injectors, which I'm really not clear on. Top right setup looks good, you could add some more injectors to it, and it's good for a test. Yeah. I just wish the text would explain to us how much we get out of an injector. Um, but since we're waiting on physical products before we can play with this properly, uh, let's see, this is as empty as it's going to get. Um, so let's get, I might just remove these. Um, and I'll remove this. And delete the 6.1 super cold thermo fluid over here. We can connect this again. I uh, don't particularly need this pump. Fantastic. And I think we can put our inputs back now. Okay, cool. And since it's so slow, uh, I think we might double it. How fast are we getting this? Uh, 7.2. <laughs> Superconductive cable per second. But then... Oh, I think I looked at this already. How many things we're going to be making with this. Um, and yeah, I think I probably should double this right, right off the bat. So let's start by putting this over here. And we'll make a couple of minor changes. As needed. Why do I have so many modules? Um, 
that's looking okay actually come to think of it we really don't need a proper merger here if the whole thing does less than half a belt it does less than uh, less than a sixth of a belt, in fact. I don't think we're ever going to reach half a belt for one side of this block. Um, so why don't we... Why don't we change the belts a bit here? And then we connect our output pipes. Is that one off? It is. No, it's at least two off. Seven, and... How did this get fluid in it? Oh, I see. Uh, pick that up again. Seven and six. Uh, how... How do we get 13? I don't think we can do that with two pipes. Hmm... Uh, what do you, what do we have here? Twenty six. Nine threes is twenty seven. I don't think there's a neat way to do this with long pipes. It is twenty seven, right? Fifteen, twenty, twenty five. No, it's twenty eight. I think. Yeah. Uh, how do we get 28? With the minimum number of pipes. 1, 2, 3, and then 1. 1. 5 plus 8. I think... I don't think we can get it below 4 pipes. Not that it matters. Let's just do this. And then we need some, just has to be eight tiles, doesn't it? Some pipe over here. Um, I guess... I think I'll just do another drop-off station. Um, in order to get the resources over here. A little bit lazy. Then again, it's not great for UPS. Doing something like that. But I need to belt this and this over here and here. And we've already got the splitters, let's just use them. This one. 
That actually lines up perfectly. Oh, there's a train coming. Uh, well, if I remove this station, it should just deliver to this one here. It'll just go to a weird spot with the temporary stop first. Four by seven? Uh, true. True. True, true, true. Brain hasn't booted up yet. Where does this go? 7777, seven, seven, seven. much better. I still don't have enough channel points for, na for name and base. Uh, get to work. Alright, so... So that's it. I think. Oh, we're actually bottlenecking on this inserter. I wasn't expecting that. Probably should have. Um, if we're getting 14.48 per second, maybe we even need more than a stack inserter. Okay, cool. Oh, and we're getting close to our first short train of superconductive cable. Fantastic. Let's get our construction spiders back to the mall for now. What's this? And... Uh, I think I'll get ahead of things and set some requests over here. If I haven't already, I don't think I have. Let's get some... Oh, come to think of it. I don't actually want to... Yes, I do. Uh, let's use this chest for some beaming stuff. What does it stack to? Probably one. Uh, item stack size one. Alright, so we have like 28 stacks here. Uh, roughly. Beam. This thing stacks to 10. Uh... 50, those are, that's probably all we need, I don't know, let's go for like 100, and some receivers, okay, normally we wouldn't need more than like one or two of these at any one destination we're going to, but we may as well carry extra, especially for our first trip out. Thank you for the follow. Watch stuff, please. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, alright, let's go for like... Uh, we've got 28 stacks. If we go 5, 5... Yeah, why don't we just go 5 stacks for all of these? I'm sure that'll work out reasonably well. And I need to request them up here. Oh, I, good. I did change it so that... Oh, I need to remove this. There we go. So we're reading from the storage chests here as opposed to what's in the logistic network. Um, why is this... Well, that's not doing anything. I won't bother touching it, though. Uh, energy beaming stuff, let's go. Uh, please bring five emitters. Um, this stacks to 50, right? Just 
just bring me one... Uh, bring me a few stacks of these. And, like... I don't know, two stacks of everything else. What do we got? Yeah, I didn't think we were already delivering that stuff. Oh, it's because I removed the... It's because I changed the read on this, so now we're bringing reserves of the stuff that goes into this chip. Okay. I forgot that I wasn't standing... I uh, wasn't sitting in my spider. Uh, this thing appears to be full. Have we configured this correctly? Provide stack threshold is one. Uh, short trains permitted... It is connected to the input. Uh, what are we missing here? Do we have a short train? We have a short train in the depot. Oh, it just finished waiting. Maybe we're short on them. No, I think we've got enough short trains for the moment. Um... So what's the problem here? Provide stack threshold. Oh, these should be turned around as well. Glad I checked that. Provide stack threshold is one. So we're allowed to bring a train over here when we can only pick up one stack of superconductive cable for now. Red wire is connected to this thing, green wire is connected to this thing. Combinator is switched on. Chest is full. Request. Maybe I put the wrong request. Superconductive cable, 2000. Stack size, 50. Oh, is this station just, like, occupied? Is that it? I think I know what I did wrong. I should put that request up here. Wait, no, this is a pickup. Yeah, no, this drop-off does uses short trains as well, I think. What's the train limit? Three. Did we... We've only got one train coming here at the moment. I'm not seeing why LTN isn't picking this up right now. Station name doesn't matter, but still. Well, I'll take some of this back personally, at least. I'll try and solve this mystery. Provide stack threshold, 1. Minimum, maximum train length is 3. Train limit, 1. We have much more than one stack of superconductive cable. And once this is full again... Well, we're requesting 2k, but I... Oh, what's our, what's our request stack threshold here? 40. Okay, there's your problem. Um, that's a bit much for this, but I see why I did that. It's fine, we'll put this to 8k. Or like 10k maybe? No, f request stack threshold 40, that's one cargo wagon. Uh, 40 times 50 is 2,000. So this should absolutely have... Well, I'll make it 4,000. Unless there was, like, a little bit of wire here. Superconductive cable already. And if I was only asking for exactly 40 stacks, um... We didn't... There we go. Okay. Alright, cool. Go get your 1.6k of... 
superconductive cable. All right then. Um, personal logistics. And are we trying to make these yet? We're trying to catch up on inserters. There's no, there's no iron sticks for some reason. How do we have no iron? That, that seems odd. Iron plate. Oh no, I think iron sticks may have been. Yeah, we even. That's aeroframe pole. I don't think we sent up iron sticks in a rocket. Um, it's only for inserters. I'm not overly concerned about the productivity bonus on iron sticks. But... Plate. We've got 14k iron plate. Um... I th thought we had... If iron stick is less than 50, don't try to make rail. I could do that for, um, burner inserters. I did come up with another way to do these prerequisites, but for now I'm just gonna throw this in. Inserter less than 50. No, if burner inserter is less than 50, don't try to make inserters. And if inserters are less than 50, don't try to make fast inserters. And then reset the timer. And suddenly we have no inserters that we're trying to build just yet. Yeah, we've got too many different things that we're trying to build, and we don't have a robust prerequisite system right now. Um, also, I think we're missing processing units. Yeah, we've got no processing units. That's um, concerning. Hmm... What's happening with processing units? We're just not making them fast enough? Are we still having Holmium cable problems? It doesn't look like it. Are we just playing catch up now? Oh, I need to change these recipes back to the ones that use Holmium Cable. Oh, I think I have. I may have just misread it. No, some of them were definitely not updated. Okay, let's make sure the other two blocks are using the recipe with Holmium Cable. We're struggling on green circuits, apparently. Except every time I've checked, uh, green circuits have been completely saturated. I didn't switch this off to, like, defunct it, did I? No. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Uh, it could be time to make a new green circuit block. Haven't done that yet. Um, are we going to have trouble with input resources at all if we do this? It doesn't seem like it. How much copper are we looking at here? We're trying to keep it at 100k, so this is probably not doing as well as I would like. Let's check the furnaces. Copper plate, 38k, not looking good. 34k. 61k. 74k. 
Uh, 36k. It's actually not as bad as I thought. 75k. 129k. No, I would not like to respawn right now. Thank you very much. Um, what was that key? Home. Settings. Not settings. Uh, wait, no. Controls. Uh, space. Uh, mod. Mod, mod, mod. Mods. Space exploration. Toggle structure operation mode. Don't think that's... I'm pretty sure I removed this earlier. Was that the shortcut key? No. So it's not dependent on the position of these things. Hmm. It's fine. Alright, let's get our Nalvis Constructor Trunks. And I think right next to a pair of Omni Smelters. I've forgotten what we were going to build here. That's unfortunate. Oh, it was something that requires a bunch of water, and it's like a new prerequisite, I think. Sulfur? Oh, explosives. I wanted to make a explosive-specific block. Well, that can wait a little bit. We need these green circuits. And having having that block right between the Omni Smelters seems like a good idea to me. Um, I probably will... I don't know, I might do the stone tablet block. Uh, just keep this as inside the block that we're going to build. Because it's much denser train-wise to use stone bricks. I only built this thing because I accidentally uh, built this with a stone block, uh, stone tablet input. Okay, so first thing we're going to want is our input stations. And wide area beacon, probably, probably four of them. We're going to cram in as much as we can. All right, while we're waiting for that, let's maybe do something in space. Oh my lord. Um, I think... I think, yeah, I think as much as there's not going to be that many things asking for superconductive cable, um, we might benefit from adding that to our common intermediate product requester chests. And where is it? We're going to blacklist um, superconductive cable from being thrown into the dynamic requester chests. I think there's quite enough being put in there. We should probably put space pipe on that list as well. Oh, here it is. One stack of that. And up here. And add it to the blacklist. Hmm. 
Okay, so that's a couple less items uh, cluttering up these uh, dynamic um, requester chests. Everframe bulkhead and girders should probably be in there as well. Bulkhead, girder. Oops. And add them here. Got a fantastic. Here comes our first energy beam emitter, unless we have no processing units, which may be the case. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm getting used to my new keyboard. Um, certain muscle memory is one key too far to the right still. Okay. Uh, where are we going? Green circuit build. Because green circuits is bottlenecking blue circuits. Um, or at least it was in one of the other blocks, but that... Was this... Did I have to update this, uh... Recipe earlier, or had I already done it? Whatever the case, um, it certainly wouldn't hurt to make a new green circuit block, and even if we don't need that much more production, we can at least make a version of it that uses bigger beacons, um, fewer machines, better UPS, and we'll clean up these old ones at some point. I remember seeing you do it. Okay, thank you. So the only reason... yeah. I just happened to be looking at the blue circuit builds that were supplied with green circuits at the time. This one is not so good. This is, an is another old build that I want to defunct, but uh, we sort of... Well, we don't need the productivity sixes before we update this, but I would like to have them. Okay, now that our spiders have arrived, um, we're going to put in a quest station or two. Provider station. I found myself thinking, am I going to need any fluid or junk outputs before remembering we're just doing green circuits? Uh, so, we're going to need stone brick input and uh, copper plate input. And then we're going to need to turn those into those low density intermediate products and shove them into a green circuit machine. Um, let's try and get an idea for ratios and the shape that we might go for. Vanilla green circuit build looks something like this, but it's obviously not going to be that easy. Uh, in fact, I remember spending a surprising amount of time trying to get the shape of this one, especially considering... especially fitting the output belt, because we can get about 180 per second from each side. 190 per second, so it's actually bottlenecking on the belts, although... We're not doing a perfect job of saturating them either. Let's see if we can improve on that this time. Uh, so, we're going to have... Mm. How many prod modules do we have up here? Uh, 106? And I've probably got... A hundred, actually, in my inventory. Oh, 
More like 151. Okay. I'm going to go down to... Um, I'm going to go down to Nalvis. So that we can at least... Uh, we can at least design it for tier 6 modules. And put a few in. Even if we have some tier 3 productivity modules stop gaps in the meantime. Come to think of it, um, I guess we're ultimately bottlenecking on this inserter, even if we ignore that this has to be full before the train is... Well, no, this doesn't have to be full before the train is summoned. Uh, but yeah, I might end up doing long trains here, we'll see. Okay, let's head down to the surface with our productivity modules. Now this. And... I'm still being too lazy to set up a supply chain for bringing the prod the tier 6 modules down to the mall. We're still producing them sl so slowly that it's no big deal to deliver them personally. Uh, but yeah, blue circuits. How close are we getting to auto-launching? We already did. Fantastic. Which means we should already have them up here. Which means... We should hopefully have made some energy beam things. Fantastic. Okay. Um, I've already got them set to deliver over here. Actually, what's our threshold? Request threshold is 10. So I need to ask for 10 to get anything brought over here. Um, and then I already set these requests, actually. That's good. Alright, so sooner or later, our outposter is going to have our energy beaming stuff, and we'll take that to the orbit of the sun. Spaceship Integrity 5 has been completed. Fantastic. Uh, let's land right about here, in our old Omni Smelter block. Where are you going? Oh, I see. Godspeed. Alright, let's put some Prod 6s in this, um, and see what it looks like. We're going for not the wood kind of green circuit, although, now that I think about it, There might be a universe where it would be worth farming wood now. Um, I forget what the recipe was exactly. Uh, but I stumbled upon it in Bioscience. Here it is. Biosludge from wood. No, we want to grow wood. Microgravity wood growth. We have to make it in space. And it costs us bioculture and nutrient gel. It's probably... It's probably not worth it. Uh, 10 bioculture, 100 nutrient gel makes 100 wood. And we can't prod it. We also get some cosmic water out of it, though. Uh, 10 bioculture and 100 nutrient gel. So this is a little bit of... wait, no. A little bit of coal for 50 nutrient gel. 4 chemical gel, 20 bio sludge, 25 cosmic water. 25 cosmic water for 50. And then 100 makes... 
125. So we are gaining cosmic water out of this? Maybe? Bioculture... Nutrient, fat, vitamin, lime, spice. I, I sincerely doubt this is going to be worth it. Um, let's. Uh, it's also a much less simple um, procedure, obviously. But if we were really struggling for stone, it might make sense. All right, let's go for this one. And this one, and then uh, minimum power consumption with a bunch of speed. Actually, minus 40% is probably good. Um, and what's our ratio look like? We, we are very, very net positive on stone tablets, unsurprising. Uh, not not very positive on copper cable at all, actually. I might just go for a one-to-one -one ratio with these. Hmm. Um, so if I multiply this out by like eight, for example, we need 144 copper cable per second. And this gives a... Uh... Wait, what? 24 machines. Oh, this is 144 copper plate. Derp. Uh, eight machines. Yeah, we'd have to scale it up a lot for the one-to-one -one ratio to not be good. Um... And then we'd have to have a bunch of belts and stuff and not do direct insertion. I think we will just have copper cable. How many? Because we're direct inserting, we'll be able to tell exactly what we need inserter-wise. It's actually only one. Uh, even though we're getting 18.27 per second. Okay. Uh... How many machines can we manage? If we're, if we're going to have one machine for stone tablets supporting n number of um, green circuit machines, we're going to need belts. Uh, how many? How many before we saturate a belt? Less than eight. Okay, so was it eight of these uses a little bit more than one belt, 48 stone tablet per second, just one of these, can, just one of these makes 37, so we could do like two to eight quite comfortably, and if we have the one machine directly inserting as well as putting onto the belt. Uh, then we're not going to have to worry about running out of belt space. Actually, how fast is this? Inserters. For direct insertion, it's still significantly less than um, a stack inserter. Okay. Just don't have an inserter over here. These are backwards. Alright, so let's say we have eight of these. And that all fits quite snugly under our beacon. Um, in fact, I wonder if we could do it more than twice. Uh, if we do this twice, 
How much input are we looking for from the trains already? I actually do have enough prods for this much. Alright, copper plate is 96 per second. So if we double this again, uh, it's going to be very difficult to support it with trains. Um, stone brick is only 24 per second. Hmm. Now that we've got max level inserters, I could probably do more than 180 per second from a train station. But then we have to belt it as well. 48 per second. Uh, that's a problem. Well, kind of. Uh, how many inserters do we need? Probably too many. So if it was direct insertion... Oh, it's actually... It's only six copper plate per second per machine, so... We can probably... We can probably pull that off with just one stack inserter. Even taken from a belt. Um, this would actually look a little bit more snug. Oh, and how much output are we getting? 9.3 per second. Okay, so long arm inserters aren't going to cut it. Uh, how are we going to do our outputs as well? Let's see. If we need 0 0.2 stack inserters for direct insertion, 6 per second. Yeah, once again, I think we're probably fine with just one stack inserter for each machine for input. And then we'll need a stack inserter or two for output. 9.3 per second. Um... We've got room if we need more than one stack inserter for output. I th think we'll do it this way. Oh! Um... That will actually... That will actually both make the inserter output faster, and it will balance the belt. So maybe we'll do it like that. Okay. So this is taking up a bit more space horizontally than I expected. I don't think we're going to be quadrupling this under one beacon. That's fine. Considering the throughput we're looking at, I'm not too bothered. Uh, let's copy-paste this over here. And then... Are we going to quadruple this in the block? We would need 192 copper plate coming in. But then again, we overproduce 
We're actually 23 copper cable more than we need. Can I math this out and find out if one belt of copper plate is enough? Um, to support this, actually? We need 144 copper cable per second. Um, if we get 149... Well, okay, what's our productivity bonus? Plus 56%. Uh, so 45... One becomes two, normally. Uh, so 45 times 2 times 1.56 is 140. We're just a little bit short of being able to support this with one belt of copper plate. Hmm. We've got plenty of space, though. I could do, like, an 8 belt... A uh, copper plate drop off, and we only need a small one for stone brick. Uh, less than two belts. In fact, I could probably. It would be awkward, but I could put the stone brick drop off down here and belt it up. I don't think we need that much extra space, though. If I do it up here, I can't do, like, an 8-belt output. I can do 6 belts of output from copper plate if I do it up here. And we could do the stone brick drop-off on the side like this. Um, the only trouble if I do it 6 belts is splitting the 6 belts into 4. Let's suppose, uh, let's suppose we do shape it like this. I might need to move that down a bit already, actually. Um... Say we do our usual output like so. The stone brick production, uh, stone tablet production can maybe be moved a bit. Maybe to the middle. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense actually. So this is, uh, four belts. Actually, I would want to merge and split it all. And I would need a, uh, six to eight balancer. I think I would rather just have... Rather just have a couple of four belt outputs. Well, I don't need all of this on the right side for planning. Um, why don't? we look at putting this in the middle. I'll actually pick up all of this for now. And 
and maybe it won't look exactly like this. Or maybe it will. Probably... Oh. Well, that should be fine. But I want... I could offset this a little bit. No, I don't think I like that. Let's say we line it up something like this. We could have this one... Maybe... How would we get the input to it? Oh, I think I... I think I'm beginning to see it. Or not. How much input do we need? SFA? Six per second, twelve foot, less than half built on each side. I don't think we're going to run out of space down here. Um, then again, we're aiming for... That's more than two belt... That's more than a belt, actually, rather. Uh, okay, I didn't anticipate that. 74 per second output. What's this going to look like? Well, we're probably just going to use more space in the middle, which is fine. How about... We could probably move this beacon a bit. Is this going to be any faster than dropping it onto a normal belt? I don't think so. No, I, I don't think it is. This one's gonna be a problem. Maybe. Maybe not. Why don't we do that like this? And then... I'm not thinking about this clearly. Um... If we need to merge it into two belts... Oh yeah, no, we're going to have to do it like that, right? So this goes here. And 
then can we fit this? Or oh, something equivalent? Not really. Maybe it depends where we put the beacon. It's actually as far down as it can go already. If I want to do this in the middle. Um, 75 per second. Well, at this point, we've only got... Uh, how many? One, two... Three machines worth? 28 per second? And... But more, more importantly, how much have we got here? More than a belt. Oh, okay. So we actually do need to... Well, I can actually just put this here. And don't merge that in there. And then this doesn't need a splitter. What's that boom sound I keep hearing from the game? That is a spaceship uh, taking off or coming back. Uh, supposedly it's a sonic boom. Although we also hear it in space. Um, yeah, spaceships are fairly light game. You need to actually build and design them. They're not just like a, like a new building, like a cargo rocket. Um, you need to build the power systems, engines, fuel, uh, something to get the meteors out of the way. Alright, thanks bud, no worries. Uh, also, sheep say meh, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. I just misclicked, can I, can I fix that? Uh oh. Okay. O okay. I need to be more careful with that. Um, and uh, Gekochi, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Okay. Uh, thanks for showing me that you're not accidentally banned or something as well. All right, let's check on our supply of nothing. Wait, how do we have none of this here? Oh, because we're catching up on a bunch of stuff because I only recently removed the querying of the logistic network to see what we've got here. Okay, how much... Um... So we should have zero of all of these here for the moment. But what have we actually built? Beam. 12 energy beam injectors, 9 energy beam chambers, 1 emitter, 3 receivers. It's happening. Just a bit slower than I would like. Um, okay. So... If we have four of these, we're still well within one belt. I would love to just put it like this. And then... I guess it doesn't matter how far across this is horizontally. Um... As long as we have room to do some output belts. Seventy-four point well, we don't need seventy-four, we need forty-eight per second, which is a bit more than one machine. But more to the point, uh we do need a saturated belt coming down this way. Um can I move this over here or something? 
might look a little bit cleaner. And how many inserters do we need to get rid of all of this? Probably two, maybe even three when we're putting on the belt. Oh, that... wait. I think that little design I did earlier isn't going to help, because we need it to go to the opposite side of the belt. Yeah. Well, no, I, I think I did it like this, didn't I? And that actually would help. We can... the inserter, once it touches the belt, it's going to output twice as fast. Uh, I don't know if one insert is going to keep up with that, though. Direct insertion, we need 1.35. So probably we do need two of them like this. And then, I think it's simpler if we just have one of them focusing on each side of the belt. Much cleaner this way. And we can add a third if necessary. Tell your ships to move slower over land? Um, I can't. That's just the sound they make when they take off, whether I like it or not. Uh, okay. I like the look of this so far. Let's flip that around. And this goes here. Except we'll want to turn the green circuit outputs around. Um, not sure how we're going to do it on this side. Well, it's going to be similar to what we've got here, but... Depending on the location of the beacon, it might change a bit. This one in particular might be a bit of a pain. Uh, does this one have an output? It doesn't appear to. There was a reason that we were doing these undergrounds here. This one's actually pretty awkward. Um... I could commit the sin of belt weaving. Just just a little belt weaving as a treat. Otherwise we need a whole other splitter to merge this in. Well, how much do these three give us? Uh, it's 9.3 each, 28. Could I somehow... I could not. Well, you could always change the mod code, I suppose. Um, I'm surprised... Once again, I'm surprised how long it's taking, uh, or how difficult it is to figure out how the belts are all going to work with green circuits. It's just such high throughput. Uh, we could always just bring this down here. Yeah, I, I could just do that.
That, that'll work, actually. It's fine. Okay, and this one... Um, it's going to merge to something like this. That's a problem, actually. That means these three are on one side of the bell. Which isn't good enough in and of itself, but we also have to consider which side of the belt these other things are going to be cons uh, going to be using. Hmm. Maybe I should just use more horizontal space. In fact, I'm pretty sure I should. Um gonna make this build cleaner as well, I think. Although this one is already looking okay. Oh, I didn't do this one yet. Okay, why don't we start over with this? And we either need to make sure um 50% of these output to one side of the belt and 50% the other. Or we need to include a lane balancer somewhere halfway through this, which I don't think is going to work out so well. Um, why don't we just simplify this a bit? And we're going to have one, two, three, four machines going to half of the belt. And one, two, three, four to the other half. Why did you go for the one, two, two, one grouping of assemblers? Yeah, no, that's what I was just reconsidering. We are going to have to have a little bit of extra belt here, but that's fine. Um, I hope... Well, okay, if... If, if one stack inserter for output for these isn't good enough, we will be able to... I'm pretty sure we'll be able to find room somehow. I just have to move this underground back a bit, which means this will have to go back through here or something, but that's okay. Um, so we're going to go for... this. Uh, except we need two belts, don't we? 74 per second. Hmm. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Alright. We need to use up even more space. It's fine. This is fine. One, two, three, four. Those two are going to go to the right side. This will be right side. And this will be left side. That's no good. Um, so this needs to go up here instead. Wait, no. That's... That's not going to cut it. I think. Ah... Okay, how about... How about this? It's going to look more symmetrical. We've got room to expand it if we need to. Um, if you change the stone undergrounds to group Two 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 two. It will make things simpler. What do you mean two 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 two? We've got two 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 two. Although this inserter isn't actually necessary. Um. Yeah, the stone tablets are going in in twos. I'm not sure what you mean. 
All right. So, hold on. This is actually... No, these two are less than half a belt. So I don't need all that. We just need to do this. Except if I do it that way, it's going to be a problem if we need more than one inserter for output. But it does leave us plenty of room uh, if we need to improve that later. Should be fine. That's not quite going to work. Yeah, no, let's just... Let's just design that from scratch. Goes up here, actually. Alright, we can put a... Underground here. And we can put a merger here. That can go all the way down there, actually. Alright. Half a belt. Half a belt. Half a belt. Half a belt. And merging into two belts. Fantastic. We finally figured out this simple problem. Take the tablets off at the first assembler where the belt goes underground. Off at the first assembler where the belt goes underground. Then underground for four tiles. And at the second assembler take them off of at, at the last possible spot. Never mind, you got a solution. Okay. At the second assembler, this one. Take it off here. I think I see what you mean. That's going to put two underground belts in front of this machine. So if we ever need two inserters to output, that's not going to be good enough. I think we only need one stack inserter to output these to a belt, but I want to leave room in case I'm wrong. Okay, uh, so if we put this here, oh, I should check, if we have eight of these machines, that's actually 96, oh wait, no, eight of these, it's only 48 stone brick per second, uh, and we are overproducing stone brick by a significant margin, so yeah, that's fine. Funny how one of the simplest components at the start of the game becomes one of the harder of the end game because of the insane throughput. Yeah. Brilliant game design if you think about it. Uh, it could have just been emergent, but it's neat either way. Um, oh, the plate is going to go in like this. And uh, I think we want to redesign the output here, don't we? Okay, so this part's probably just going to be mirrored. And then... Can I actually do it like this? Seems good. One, two. Three, four. Uh, these outputs here are going to have to be spirited away 
to the side somewhere. I think we can manage that. Or I could just make the whole thing wider. We can easily make this like one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six tiles wider on each side. So that's not going to be a problem. So why don't we do that? Um, move these over a couple of tiles. Um, I need to make sure I leave enough room for a really thirsty pickup station. Uh, so we're going to do a stack inserter, balanced loader. Actually, I might have to abandon using circuitry to balance this. Because there's no way to... There's no way to use that without slowing it down. Um, if we have a balancer for the inputs, and then we have all of the outputs... No, I think we'll use a balancer for the outputs if we can fit it. A belt to balance the outputs, that is. Um, so we're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... I don't think we can fit an 8 to 8 balancer here somewhere. Um, yeah, how much input do we need? Multiply this by 4. We need more than... More than 8 belts of copper plate and a bit more than 1 belt of stone. Um, I was thinking of having, I was thinking of having an input station, um, not this type. Oof. Owie. Can we maybe move that up a couple of tiles? I might even remove this rail up here. Hoverx once wrote somewhere that the dev's approach to quality control is basically playing the game themselves all the time, and it really shows they like to keep the game interesting for themselves also. That's a good philosophy. Uh, let's put this here, actually. Get rid of our usual input stations. Let's remove this bit of straight rail. And then we might be able to fit... We can't fit it like this, I don't think. Well, we actually can. So that's looking good. But we'll probably do it to one side or the other. Something like this. So there'll be implicitly a bit of balancing just by taking from uh, the train equally, but because of the different lengths of the belts, um, I would like each side to go through a balancer. And I have a 90 degree uh, adaptation of lane balancer that I made here. That's taking up more space than I expected. Um, 
What if I did it this one on this side? I'm hoping to have a stone drop off here. I'll just put that there so I can see where it's going to go. Let's put our copper plate filters here. And write 90 per second. If we do it like this, that's still going to be pretty awkward, I think. Uh, this one's going to cut into the middle. That's not so good. You got the blueprint for that balancer up somewhere? Um, I may do. Let me just... I'll just upload it now to make sure. Um, it, I basically just took this thing, which is your typical... Uh, four to four balancer, but then you add some splitters on the side so that half of the inputs uh, have the opportunity to swap sides of the belt if things are backed up. Uh, that turns it into a lane balancer. Um, and then I took this thing and just played with it, moved belts around until I could fit it into a corner. Um, but also, if we don't care about lane balancing, uh, we can actually make this significantly smaller as well. Um, so that goes there. This can stay, probably. Um, this goes here. Which means this can move back. And then that means we can fit this here. And we can move all of this in. Uh, so that's actually a 4 to 4 balancer, just not a lane balancer. And I don't think we can get much smaller than this. Uh, anyway, I'll put the blueprint up right now. Let me just find it again. Uh, let's go to... I'll chuck it on the Discord first. That's nice and quick and easy. Uh, I think the blueprint bot is broken still, but I'll try using it anyway. Why... Why is everything shaking when I try to post something into the Blueprints channel? Okay, that works. Delete that. Slash Blueprint. Uh, okay. Is it because of this... It's because... Is it because it's trying to do, like, a slash command? Seems like it. Okay, uh, what is this, what are we gonna call this? Uh, four to four lane balancer corner. Because the Factorio gods are angry at you. Uh oh. All right, let's go to... Oh, I left the preview on. That might cost us, like, a fraction of a UPS. Uh, let's go to Factorio Prints. And... It might already be in the Belt Balances book, but I think I added it after that. Can I check? Uh, 
Yeah, I don't think it's there. Okay. Let's go create blueprint strain uh, 4 to 4 plane balance uh, corner. And I'll do a little snip here. And tags, uh, belt balancer. There we go. Save. Hey, Costco Taquitos. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and there it is. There's our blueprint. All right. Let me just close the memory hungry browser. Much appreciated, thanks, no worries. Uh, Balinor. Welcome, welcome, by the way. Okay. Uh, let's... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Let's maybe use this. I can't fit it here. But I, I probably don't need to. And this can go here. Actually, bring that down a tile. Oh. Uh, that actually lines up really well with this thing. If we then do the same thing here. Except maybe not this uh, splitter. Wait, what is this? That doesn't look right. Did I put this in off-center or something? Memory Hungry Browser, Chrome? Uh, no, it's actually... It's actually a browser that... Uh, what is it? GX? Opera GX? Uh, the whole point of uh, giving that a go was... Um, you can... You can limit CPU and memory usage on it, but I don't think it's necessarily so effective that I wouldn't rather just switch it off. Also, I've got a lot of tabs open, so even if it's putting some of them to sleep, who knows. Okay, that's actually looking pretty good. What about this side? Can we... Can we fit this and preferably also have our stone drop-off here? Um, otherwise, I don't know where we're going to put our stone drop-off, actually. Stone brick, that is. Um, I could probably just... Bring this over here, or not. I could bring this one up here, and then we could fit just barely. Four belts going down this way. And we could have a regular belt balancer wherever we want. Um, let's see, four to four. Belt balancer. I might just 
do this a little bit more like what we've already done on the other side. Except... I think I'll just move this up. That actually fits perfectly. Wait. Yeah, it does. This is fine. It actually just barely fits. I kind of like it. Okay. Uh, let's put our other input down. And it could look something like this, I suppose. Throw in some undergrounds just to tidy things up. And to let that go through there. Okay, um, except we can't actually fit this here. We can fit it from down here, though. That'll be fine. So then we'll have a uh, drop-off station, rather. See where I want to fit that. We only need one belt of output from this thing. But I would prefer to put it as close to the middle as possible. This is good. And... Oh, why don't we just do this? Uh, because I can't see where that is supposed to go now. Okay. Let's do a... Maybe not that slow. Unloader. Don't we need, like, almost a full belt from this? Yeah, this says 48 per second, but... We're going to be overproducing um, the tablets quite significantly, so that's not going to be a problem. Uh, so why don't we just... What is the smallest balanced unloader that'll ensure full throughput on one belt, I wonder. Let's overdo it, rather than the alternative. And then we'll have some fast inserters. Probably. And we're going to connect circuit wire to the inserters and this bit of belt. Read and hold from all of those. And we're not going to swing them again until we detect nothing. And each of those should almost saturate a belt. It'll it'll leave some gaps. But between the two of them, it should be no trouble at all to keep this saturated. Alright, stone brick. And may 
as well. Next this up. And we're going to be looking for... How fast are we going to consume stone brick here? Like, call it one belt, 45 per second. Uh, it's going to last six minutes or so. Um, let's just do the usual and set it to like two train loads. And I'll switch that on once we're ready. Um, so all of our inputs are going to be balanced, and they're going to they're going to go to the amount of machines producing for each belt are going to be equal. So then we're just going to assume that our outputs are balanced. Um, so this one is going to go over here perhaps and this one can go here this one's going to be awkward um, in fact I might that's probably why I wanted to have that go around the side so these two can go from there this one can go here and we won't have any of the inserters trying to pick up from uh, a corner One, two, three, four. We've actually... I was going to say we've barely got enough room, but... Uh, we actually sort of don't. But what we can do is use some undergrounds. Um, in fact, maybe this one should go... Here. Probably, maybe do a tidier job if this goes. No, otherwise, where are those other belts gonna go? Alright, let's keep going with this for now. And then we've got just enough room. Or do we? Probably. Probably got just enough room to do what I want with these. Also, let's just confirm these belts all connect where we think they do. Yeah, it's looking good. It would be pretty tragic if we put all the work in and then found something was off by one up here. Okay. How are we going to do this part? I don't think we can really be moving everything one tile. Like, we don't have that much room up here. Hey, no head. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Darkfire Phoenix, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Um... How do I want to do this part? If it gets really desperate, we could do something like this. That's going to be pretty ugly. Oh, we're almost done with our spaceship research. Fantastic. Uh, let's also add these here. So probably if we're gonna do the same thing on this side, then I think this one should go down here. 
This one will go down here. I need to figure out where these these ones go. I might just have to have some of them picking up from corners. Okay. Is there anything else we can research still? Um, we've got tier 3 of every space science now. So whenever we see tier 4, that's a no-no. But hopefully there's something besides zone discovery that we can still do. I could definitely go for a bit more zone discovery. But let's see what else. Uh, Spaceship 7 needs tier 4 Astro. Uh, Thruster Suit Mark 3, let's go. And this thing no doubt needs 4. Energy Shield Mark 4 needs tier 4 Energy. Uh, Speed Module 7 actually just needs a Material. Uh, weapon damage needs material. This is tier 4. Flame damage needs material. Explosive damage, material. Range, material. Uh, shooting speed I really couldn't care less about, and it's 32,000. I might save that for when we're doing infinite research or something. Uh, follower robot count, don't really care about, but that is material. And I think that's everything. Yeah. May as well do that. This is 440 and this is 12k. Let's swap those around. Alright, so nothing too exciting. The thruster suit will be nice. Okay, we got one, two, three, four belts here and four cargo wagons that they need to go to. Uh, I would love to just connect this like so. We're going to run out of space to do these the way I want to, I think. Yeah, we're just going to have this one... Hmm. One of them is going to have to have the corner. Unless there's some trick that I'm missing. Um, I don't think there is. Also, this should probably go here. Oh, hold on. I think I've got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is looking good now. And then this goes here. Perfectly symmetrical, as all things should be, or at least as symmetrical as that's going to get. Yeah, we did it. With nary a tile to spare. Move these down a tile. Cool. And we could probably... Save some belt here. Let's do a nice pattern.
like where this build is going. Oh. I like it a lot, actually. Are we just about done? So we've got eight belts of input for a copper plate, and we need just over four. Um, we've got them balanced here and here. We've got balanced to... We've obviously got the stone brick balanced. Um, we don't have a balancer for the output, but we've got four uh, green circuits. Wait, no. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four green circuit uh, for each belt. 37 per second. Probably going to be close to 45 if we had tier 9s. I think. I'm not sure. Um... Excuse me. Whiskers, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Left side has two undergrounds heading up instead of down. That's true. I was doing that to measure it to start with, and I forgot about it. Thank you. And I kind of thought we would end up having to move something a tile because we'd gone over or something like that. But it's actually looking pretty much finished. Okay, let's give tier 3 productivity modules uh, to the machines that we can't feed just yet. Although, I want to check and make sure we don't have spiders um, holding onto prod 3s. Actually, I'll put a storage chest here. And chuck in some logistic bots. Oh, we do have more prod sixes. Fantastic. How much is this in total? Uh, 72 machines times four. Yeah, I'm pretty sure oh, we almost brought enough productivity threes, uh, productivity sixes to make that happen. I'll just put in prod 3s for the rest, and we'll do a upgrade planner. Uh, let's see. Tier 6 modules. 7 efficiencies, I believe it was. Did we not include... We did not include assemblers. Okay. Rod 6. And let's make sure we've updated the tier 6 modules. Reset. Hey, thruster suit. What do we got? Uh, superconductive cable. And one tier, one of each, wait, what? Two of them are tier three, one of them, are, two of them are tier one for some catalogs. We just need one of each. 100 processing units, 50 solid rocket fuel, 50 conductor, and our tier two thruster suit. Okay. Um, we'll get that sorted when we go back to orbit. Speaking of which, um... Actually, let's look at it this way. All time, beam. We've still only made three and one receivers and emitters. We've made 97 umbrellas. Uh, 12 injectors and nine chambers. That's really not what I wanted to see. Um... Yeah, I was hoping we'd have everything we need available to 
really start playing with um Uh, the energy beam stuff by the time I finish this build. Oh well, what can you do? Uh, there might be a slight problem because the left or right versions of these are not just mirrored. Uh, we actually need the left version now. Because the inserters arbitrarily put things on the right side of the belt, um, if the belt is facing away from them. Or even... No, I think, um... If you have, like, uh, underground... Going like this, for example... Uh, I'm pretty sure I tested it and found that it puts it on the right side of the belt. Like, the same side, no matter which way this, uh, underground is facing. Anyway, um, let's go, that's the wrong one, left 180 per second, and apart from the train station, we should be able to copy, paste, flip all of this. Place it in the same spot. Uh, this one... This part isn't going to be a problem. Uh, we need to do something a little bit different over here. We could definitely do it with one less piece of belt. Actually. And then, is this part going to be exactly the same? No, it's not. Uh, I think we can get away with it, though. Because we can just move this underground back. Oh. Uh, that wouldn't have helped here, so I don't care about that one. And does this fit together like so? Yes, good. Hey, Hughes Mike. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so this should... Get rid of that signal, and then I can flip this, make sure it goes in exactly the same spot. Um, the station is obviously not going to be a mirror. What was the box for? And this one, hopefully it's exactly here. Fantastic. Uh, we're gonna need some tier 3 productivities on this side for now. Let's go with that. Wait, 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 wait. There's a robopod in the way. <laughs> uh... Dark Phoenix, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Let's pick this stuff up, and just to make absolutely sure, I'll paste this again. Okay, did I not say tier 3 modules? Oh, we need the assembler again. Okay. Tier 3 modules, except for the beacon. Go. Fantastic.
I'll make the input station on the left a little bit higher priority until we can um, uh, get all of those tier sixes in place. And we can fit 14.4 uh, trainloads of copper plate here. And we're going to be consuming it very quickly, so let's ask for like six at a time. Um, copper plate, 16k as a train load, 32k, 64. That's probably enough actually, in order to keep it flowing. Uh, and we also need to make sure we connect our input, rather tell LTN what we've already got here is what I'm trying to say. Let's copy this. Big clown. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's remove the priority from this one. And uh, we need to connect this up here. This is already all good. We need some signals. Oh, how is this going to fit? It's going to be sticking out, that's okay. We don't have to drop off stone brick very often here. Uh, no, not there. Well, I guess it doesn't actually matter, but just for consistency's sake. It's so much easier placing signals since I realized that chain signals don't stop trains from stopping at a station. In before later, you wonder why there is no RoboPort coverage? There's not supposed to be RoboPort coverage here. Although we do have construction... We almost have construction coverage over the whole thing. Uh, Holmium cable... Holmium plate here. Why are you always looking so sad? I thought... Oh, I should probably check, actually. Via Terra. I didn't actually tell our ships to stop flying, since we converted this to cannons. Um, for sending the Holmium core fragments back. Holmenite, rather. The belt is looking a bit slow. Are we bottlenecked on explosives? I'm not seeing a whole lot of... They are getting to the end of the belt, or at least just barely over here. But I'm not seeing a whole lot of um, delivery cannon capsules. Yeah, we're bottlenecking on explosives still, so that's got to be our next priority. I think the belts in the top right are wrong. Okay, let's have a look. Let's move the spiders. Uh... Oh, true. One, two, three, and four? Why would this have... Maybe the blueprint was wrong. Let's see. Balanced unloader. This was a upside down left one, wasn't it? Let's flip it around so that this looks the same. Normally it's like this. And I had to change it so that that belt goes to the top. I don't know why I would have... Oh, I think this was from when I copy-pasted from over here. And I didn't notice it added this to it. Okay, so these two merge to here. These two merge to here. And so on and so on. Yep, that's looking good. Alright, good catch, thank you. Um, and we have a balancer here as well. 
Although, come to think of it, we probably could have made our balancer uh, a little bit more compact if we put it at this corner. Eh, it doesn't matter. I think we are just about ready. Let's update our station name down here. Uh, pretty much default passive provider, well, provider station kind of settings. Oh, might help also if we finish this part of the build. Uh, what's this? It's asking for tier 6s. Okay. I used your two-way rail blueprints to good effect, thanks. Uh, you're welcome. And glad to hear it, thank you. Uh, let's copy this here. And... I think we just need to turn our stations on now. Alright, let's wait till the trains get here so we can uh, admire our handiwork and or find any glaring mistakes. Bottom right is not connected to the boxes. Uh, was that just, like, chat lag? It looks okay. The station and the boxes. Station and box. Oh, 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 green wire. Yes. Touche. Uh, I like to connect this on the right, mostly just because the wire is a bit more subtle and out of the way. Um, speaking of which... Yeah, no, that one's fine. Alright, here comes our copper, and here comes our stone. Fantastic. How far away is it, I wonder? There's too many trains to check. I thought I saw something... Oh, this isn't supposed to be there. Okay, cool. You're getting your fuel. Uh, no. Uh-oh. There's nuclear fuel at the end of the belt, so it's probably not that bad. Uh, yeah, we might just be playing catch-up on nuclear fuel production. Okay, let's go give this a better beacon. Or maybe even some more machines as well. Would be a good idea. Um, I can do that myself in the Speedy Spider. Actually, I don't have centrifuges. Uh, do the construction spiders have them all the time? I don't see any. I'll go pick some up. Centrifuge. I should be a bit more diligent about deconstructing these old blocks. Um, I was doing it by using the trash pickup that we've got built into uh, the Omni Smelter blocks. I just need to extend the Roboport reach without having them touch each other, preferably. Uh, because the amount of stuff you end up it, uh, having in the chests here is, even for a gang of spiders that are specifically set up to deconstruct things, it's a bit much.
Alright, we've got our centrifuges then. Somewhere, yes, good. Let's head over this way. And let's see how our build is doing. We're still waiting on the copper, that's odd. You're not stuck, are you? No? Which, I don't even know which of those trains is trying to deliver the copper, though. Um, wait, what? Oh, I didn't name the station properly. Okay, I'm going to have to fix that uh, once we stop having trains come here. Otherwise, it's going to be hard to narrow down which trains are coming. Um... I think if I were to redesign uh, this Omni Smelter block, I would probably just go for simple output stations because they're faster. So what happens here is we read from the logistic train stop output, set requests on the requester chests, set filters on these white and blacklist. Well, these ones are just blacklist. Uh, these inserters here. Uh, research complete. Fantastic. We shove our copper plate into these chests until they're full. The way that we know that they're full, regardless of different um, stack sizes, is we look for anything equals negative one. Uh, output green is going to trigger our latch here. And then we just say minus 16,001. Uh, so that constant combinator is always going to the decider combinator. And once we have positive 16,000 coming from the chests, that's going to be negative 1. So that's going to trigger our latch, which is going to start the loading process. And the only reason we need to do all of this... Um, it's just the fastest way that I've come up with uh, for... Being absolutely sure that we've got enough of a resource to load the train. And we need to make sure we've got enough before we start swinging the inserters, because if we have loading a precise amount and we have more than one cargo wagon, we can't check the individual cargo wagons, so we have to keep them all perfectly in sync. Uh, the inserters, that is. And I don't know if there's a layout that we could possibly do that would allow us to have more inserters than uh, four per train. So even after we load the chests, it's slightly slower uh, than our usual loading station. Anyway, uh, all of that to say, this is why we Probably why we don't have our copper plate here just yet. Yep, this is the train, or one of the trains that's coming to our location. Uh, but we do already have green circuits flowing on this side. So that's good. I wonder if it's going to be too fast with the prod 3s. Uh, 79 per second on two belts, so no, that's actually good. What about this ratio? We're actually negative on copper cable into the green circuit machines. Uh, this one doesn't have stone brick. Why are there bot? Oh no, why are there bots on that belt? <laughs> this is why... <laughs> this is why you inspect... That was from when I had the RoboPort there, temporarily. Uh, 
Products finished zero. Products finished one. Fantastic. Any others that haven't done anything yet? Everything on the left side, but we're just getting our copper now. Revan, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, this one I don't think is going to have as many issues. Or any issues, I hope. This is definitely a much cleaner looking build, unsurprisingly, uh, than our previous one. Let's add our... Our icon, so we know what this is from the map. And oh, I kind of sort of accidentally a little bit. Um, Those wires don't matter nearly as much. Um, I kind of sort of left the circuitry there for the wiring for a balanced loader that we're not going to use. It would be easier to just deconstruct this and put it back. Or rather copy-paste that, but the spiders are out of range. Then again, with the number of clicks this took, I think I'll just send them back here. Deconstruct this. Copy-paste this. I might tweak the uh, stack size. Oh. Okay. Um, I might tweak the stack size on these inserters so that they let the green circuits get to the end of the belt. Otherwise we're going to get the first chest or two filled up. Um, and then we're going to have like fewer inserters picking up from the belt and not able to keep up with it. And when the train comes we're going to not load it as quickly as possible and so on. Deconstruct tool needs a remove all wires option. Yeah, I think there's a mod for that if you really want. Um, so what stack size? Oh wow. Our networks did almost all of that for us. That's pretty cool. Um, what stack size should we have here? Exactly how many stack inserters at like at what stack size would six of them consume an entire belt, I wonder. We're not getting an entire belt just yet, but still. Let's go for like six and see what that looks like. It doesn't have to be perfect, I just want these um I just want these chests loaded somewhat evenly. As long as uh, green circuits are getting to the end of the belt all of the time, but they're not backing up, um, I'm happy with that. And it looks like 6 was actually a really good guess. Yeah, I think I can probably live with that. Alright, back to the mall with you, and we've already built our extra um, it, It's probably a bit overkill adding another 
tier 2 beacon here, but who cares. Input for this is surprisingly slow. Um, oh, that's really slow. The fast inserters wouldn't keep up over here. But I think I'd rather go some efficiency as well. Negative 80%. Negative 80%. Uh, it's because it's only two modules here. This one is plus 20%. 22 per second. It's actually exactly half a... Almost exactly half a belt. I should probably make this a target for prod sixes. Oh. Um, I need to add centrifuges. Oh, and I want to make sure I update this as well, the preset. Okay. I don't know how important that really is for the nuclear fuel, but I definitely like to do it for uranium fuel cells. That goes to a lot of places. Alright, let's head back to... Oh, I also wanted to... No, this is fine. I don't mind if we keep this for the uranium fuel cells. Let's go back to the mall, uh, and then maybe back to our spaceship. Remains to be seen how well the, um, just changing the stack size on these inserters is going to work. We're 460 here, but 1.1k here. Except we weren't doing this from the beginning. So I'll check on that much later, and depending on how evenly these are distributed, uh, we'll drop the stack size again, I think, probably to 5. 4 or 5 I expect to be optimal for this. It actually does matter a fair bit because it takes so long to load 32k into a train. Right then. Um, maybe I will carry centrifuges from now on. I keep finding myself wanting one and it being a pain to get the concrete. So we'll do a quick resupply and maybe go back to orbit. Uh, what do we have here? Still nothing. Did I miss something? 10, 10, 20, 100. Request threshold 10. I think we just didn't get enough of these things for a delivery. We've still got the same number of emitters and receivers and I think beam injectors here. That's not great. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. I forgot. I only asked for one of everything here. Uh, okay. Alright then. Um. Yeah, let's, uh, let's bump that up a little bit. Well, hopefully that means we've got no trouble with the resources that need to go into it.
What are we waiting on? Glass and blue circuits. We've got glass. Oh, it's the inserters that are putting a thousand aeroframe bulkheads in before we pick up glass. Seems good. Maybe if I really wanted to get keen, I could probably like set these to be filter inserters and then use circuitry to separate out the signals and put a different filter for each different input so that they would all put in the various re uh, various inputs at the same time. And no blue circuits. No blue circuits. Okay. Well, at least we'll get the chambers. Uh, at least one more receiver. Alright, what are we doing about blue circuits? That's the whole reason we were building those green circuits, I think. Looks like I came back just in time to see the first energy beam, more or less. Um, I could steal a bunch of blue circuits and make sure they get there. I'm pretty sure we have, a, like, quite a few. Like, I could just take them from here, for example. In fact, why don't I send the construction spiders down this way? And they're going to pull off a heist. Do we have blue circuits coming in anywhere else still? Like rockets? Yeah, we've got some here as well. Um, we're going to get rid of this one. And I could actually just mark this for deconstruction. And that will actually get back to the mall automatically. So that's like what, um, almost two train loads of blue circuits, I think, that we're going to have back there. That should last at least two minutes. Why do we have testing packs here? Oh well. Now this is not to wonder why. Uh, let's get back in our ship, I think. I'm quite happy with this green circuit build. I guess in the tradition of our previous green circuit builds, I could spam some solar panels in here. Oh, that doesn't fit there. What am I doing? here without adding more undergrounds. It's too good of a fit not to take. Wait, why am I not carrying solar panels? What? Personal logistics are on. Requesting 20 flat solar panels. 
Oh, I already dropped 20. Okay. That escalated quickly. Looks kind of weird. I don't like it though. Let's go back to orbit. And we'll start picking up our energy beam stuff. Uh, Nervous orbit, please. Fantastic. Uh, hopefully, where is it? Hopefully this will be enough to catch up with our... Uh, oh. I actually consumed all of the U-235. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, we're gonna upgrade the modules here. Make that a priority. I forgot I wanted to change these to fast inserters, because stack inserters don't do anything with uh, nuclear fuel. Alright, um, I can understand why... No, I, th I think I should actually prioritize... Uranium-235 here, and then here. Because this one's so slow, we're not gonna... It, it's gonna back up. 0 0.333 per second. So as soon as we get our output... Oh, this thing is still warming up. What the hell? When did this happen? Okay, we really need to crank out more cover X. Yeah, more prods for uranium and more speed would be good. How, is, how are our reserves looking? We've actually got all this 235 in reserve. Uh, 447,000 and 316,000 238. Um, we convert 238 into 235 if we've got more of it. I think that's where this goes. Uh, yes. And we always put 238 back into here. Okay, that makes sense. But how did we get to the point where... We've got all this 235 in storage, but CoverX isn't going at full speed. I'm actually really quite confused by that. Especially considering we've got all of the 235 management so that we hold on to it until... It's actually 238 that we don't have in here. Fascinating. Oh, okay, so CoverX isn't going full speed because... Uh, because we've got more 238 than 235 in the rail network. Um, but we need... We need 235 down here in order to keep uranium fuel cells going. I could just add like an unconditional drop-off for U-235. Uh, I just recently noticed this spot right here is a good spot 
if we want to add another drop off coming from the rail network. Um, but in this case, we could probably do it like this. I could even. I could even use a short train for this, maybe. Or. Hmm. It really is a pain having the 235 available for the rail network, but also, like, all of it available for here. I just wanted to say that I'm having kind of a hectic day at work, and your soothing voice is helping, calming, helping me calm down. Thank you for streaming. You're welcome. I'm happy to help. Badogiza, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I could, of course, just connect this rail off like so. And we could probably even fit a long train in there. It's a bit tacky looking, but... It would probably just make more sense if I had a block somewhere else making this. I mean, it would effectively be like, almost like it's a block somewhere else. If I were to just add a drop off for 235 here. How fast can we go through it? Uh, only 1.675 per second. Okay. That's pretty slow. Um, we need to merge it here. So I think we'll just do a short train can come up this way. Am I in orbit already? I am. I'll get the construction spiders to pay this a visit. Very important we don't want run out of uranium fuel cells, suffice to say. Uh, let's get our spider going. And... Do we still have nothing here? Yeah. I think I'll just pick all of this stuff up myself. So how much do we have? Beam. 51 energy beam chambers, 11 receivers, 8 emitters, and 29 injectors. Um, I'm thinking that is probably enough to at least play with it and make a start. And it's a short trip to the sun. Uh, in this game, anyway. So, let's just pick up all of that. Uh, I'll add it down here, actually. Beam. Beam, and beam. Uh, all of it, please. Greetings, Night Dancer. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. By the way, what mods are you using? Is there a list or something? There is indeed. Uh, basically, it is space exploration some quality of life mods, and a uh, crafting combinator, which lets you change recipes with circuit conditions. Also read um, ingredients for recipes and stuff like that. That's... okay, maybe I don't need to carry this many receivers right now. Um... Let's just go for one of those, one of those. I don't know how many of these, stack size 10, let's go for 20, let's go for 10. And this was 50. I'll still carry what I've already got though. 
I think. Um, get rid of the excess. All right, let's head over to... I think I'll use the outposter for this. Thank you, you're welcome. And let's go start playing with energy beaming. Uh, I will set up a receiver over here so that we've got something to aim at. We really don't need more power in Nalva's orbit. That's the one place I won't be sending uh, beaming energy to, I think. I mean, if we want to be really obsessive about it, uh, I guess it's probably more efficient. Like, we could build fewer solar panels in total by building them next to the sun. But it's really no trouble um, either way. Energy beam receiver. So there's nothing to click on here. We probably, I'm guessing, set the target for the energy beam transmitter. What's the name of our sun? Calidus? Calidus Orbit. Let's go. I forgot to make the new thruster suit. Um, it's going to be a pain to pick those things up. Tier 1, Astro and Biological Catalog. Tier 3, Energy and Material. And everything else will already be in the... Uh, uh, already be in the mall. Okay. I don't know how much we need to do this right now, but let's hijack the... Uh, let's steal the blue circuits. And once we've picked those up, put the train station back. And I'll get the construction spiders to go back to the mall with their loot. And we should have no trouble building stuff that requires blue circuits for uh, at least a couple of minutes. Okay. How far are we? Five minutes. Um, we're already at Mars. But oh, we're still accelerating, I think. Yeah, we're slowing down, what? Uh, because we haven't hit the condition to put more nuclear fuel in just yet. Once the accumulators reach 25%, we're going to put in... We're going to read this thing uh, when it outputs the used-up uranium fuel cell. And then once we detect that, we're going to put in one uranium fuel cell. Except... I think because we're actually getting solar power here, we're not quite hitting that condition. I think what needs to happen is like a cluster of asteroids close together so that the accumulator charge actually drops to 25%. Oh, there it goes. Fantastic. Uh, so that's heating up, which means we are running our uh, turbines. which means we'll be accelerating. The accumulator charge has to increase before we go faster though, because that's what, that's what we're basing our speed on. Because we can't detect enemies, um, which is technically what the asteroids are. So 
instead of setting an arbitrary uh, speed target, I'm just letting them consume power from the accumulators, and we're using the accumulators to set speed. I say letting them, I can't help but let them consume uh, accumulator charge. Okay. Four minutes. And dropping. Fantastic. Probably going to be at the sun by the time we're going full speed. Let's check on Navis. And I wanted to put a, a short train drop off right about here. And where do I want to put this? Block the left side. And then. And we'll be requesting uranium-235. Uh, what does it stack to? 100? So, 4,000. Let's do a little experiment. Um, so the maximum that we can fit in this chest is 4,800. We're going to only allow one train at a time short trains only, and stack request threshold is a full cargo wagon. Uh, theoretically, this should never be overfilled, but in the past we've seen not that. Possibly for other reasons, though, before I figured out the mod a bit better. Alright, let's switch this thing on. All of a sudden we're backed up on uranium fuel cells anyway, so that's good, I guess. And I don't think it's a mistake to prioritize the nuclear fuel either. Ideally, we could probably swap the priority orders around for this, but I don't think it's necessary. All right, let's send our spiders back to base. And we're 90 seconds out uh, from playing with how, uh, energy beaming. How many solar panels did I bring? We've got 400 over here. Plus a little bit more. Well, that should be enough to get started. Boop -be doop We're now researching artillery shell, which I think is the last thing we've got left. Uh, apart from speed, which I don't care about. Artillery shooting speed. For Material Science Pack 3. Fantastic. This is exciting. Uh, Calidus Orbit. Let's have a look. We've had a little bit of a look previously. Oh, I'm going to need scaffolding. Oh, no. Um... Yeah, this is actually... I haven't built an orbital base um, besides the one in Navis Orbit. This is the first time, so I haven't packed any scaffolding. Whoops. How much can we do... how much can we build uh, before we do that? I think this is the 
either this one, or probably this one, is the biggest landmass we're going to find. Uh, we can definitely fit a bit here. It's it's enough to experiment with. It's fine. We're going to have to get a little bit creative with our placement of solar panels, perhaps. And why the sun? Uh, because the sun, or the orbit of the sun, is where we're going to get the most uh, solar power. So we're going to use solar panels uh, to produce power, and we're going to beam energy to other places. Um, and we can mostly use that to... At the receiving end, we can turn it into heat, which we can turn back into power. Oh, that's a thing, indeed. Um, I recall Scott Manley doing his... What was it called? Interstellar. There's a big mod for Kerbal Space Program called Interstellar or something like that. Um, it actually had energy beaming. Uh, it, I don't think it worked exactly the same way as this. Like, it's not just beaming a bunch of energy and then you turn it into heat. And then you turn it into power. Uh, or even if it was, it was so miniaturized that you could basically just think of it as beaming power. Uh, and much to my surprise, that is apparently a thing that we could be doing. Although I don't know at what uh, scale just yet or anything. Uh, the universe is strange and science is amazing. What else can I say? Alright, I think we are just about here. We're pretty early at our run pre-spaceships by a long shot, fair enough. Uh, where should we anchor? Probably near but not on our asteroid. And let's place some of this stuff. Uh, so first of all, we're going to want... what? Uh, first of all, let's place a substation. And some solar panels. Each solar panel gives us 12.1 megawatts in this place. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how my character isn't just cooking already, but it's probably fine. So we'll start with a little solar array. And, oh, that was, yeah, okay. Let's see if we can figure this out. So it says, injectors can only be connected to the sides. Does that mean here? Oh, oh, okay. I think, I think we're seeing the connections and I'm guessing they can't be connected here. All right, cool. So that means we could fit, well, neatly, we could only fit four on each one. Um, probably fit six. And then 12 on two, but then we can't fit a emitter. Must be connected to an energy beam emitter. Other chambers can be connected to the end or middle of either side. Energy beam injectors can only be connected from the sides. Okay. Um, not much point rotating this. Electricity. It's looking very sad. Cannot be placed on spaceship. Fair enough. Cannot be placed on spaceship. Apparently this could, but I don't see what the point would be. Uh, 
satisfaction, 278 megawatts out of 11.1 gigawatts? Okay. Uh, okay, so this is consuming power. It, I wish it would tell me how much it's doing for each recipe, but... It's consuming power and converting it to... This says max consumption 100 megawatts. I want to get a feel for how much... How much does one of these consume? Uh, a lot? Or is it because this thing is charging up electricity? Max consumption 1.03 gigawatts. Minimum consumption 33 megawatts. How much have we got? Um... 278 megawatts. Okay, so like a quarter of the max consumption of the emitter? Wait, that's actually not that much. 1.03 gigawatts uh, divided by... Well, it's plus 14... Wait, 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 what? Solar, 15... Oh yeah, 15, 18 percent. Okay. Plus 1418.16 percent times 800 kilowatts. 800 times 1518.16, was it? And it was 15 times. Uh, so, precisely, uh, 12.145.28 megawatts, a flat solar panel, uh, 1.03 gigawatts divided by that, Was megawatts, wasn't it? 12.1 megawatts? Uh, where do the zeros go? Each injector can consume one gigawatt? Written in description. Uh, no. The injector just says must be attached to energy beam chamber and connected to an emitter. Injectors have a fixed power draw. Each one increases the energy sent, giving more heat to a receiver. Or increases the speed and damage of the beam weapon. Each one increases the energy sent, or increases the speed or damage of the beam receiver. This, uh, the emitter says max consumption 1.03 gigawatts. Uh, Noxyway Gaming, good to see you again, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, I'm really not clear on what kind of ratios we need here. Uh, I'm going to be lazy here. What's 1,000 divided by 12? 12.1. About 82 flat solar panels. Um, so 4 and a bit times this is the maximum consumption of a single emitter. So, can we actually point, like, an array of emitters at one receiver, or is that as much as a receiver can take? Output 1 watt? Lol. Temperature. Neighbor bonus. Interesting. Wait, does it actually get a neighbor bonus, or is this because it, like, because it's based on the nuclear reactor when they modded it in or something? Captures an energy beam as heat. The emitter must be in energize mode and target must be on the receiver. So yeah, I kind of expected that. You 
select the coordinates just like the delivery cannons. Um, off, energize, glaive, autoglaive. Cool. That's pretty easy to set up. Can we aim it? Oh, we can. Well, that that's cool. Temperature's rising. Uh, why don't we aim it at... Well, let's turn this off for a second. Novice Orbit. And we'll aim it over here. Um, and let's look at our power network. Uh, energy beam injector is consuming 132 megawatts. But I think that's a bit misleading because the emitter is only consuming 145. Um, yeah, we need to go back for scaffolding to make this work. What do we got here? Five... 20 stacks. We've got like eight stacks for scaffolding. That's not as much as I would like. Um... How are we on... Oh, that's right. We've got way more... We've got way, 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 way more um, structural integrity now. We can put in a bunch more uh, chests here. Let's do that. Alright, so I'm going to request uh, scaffolding. 4800. And... How much is 4,800, really? Scaffolding. Can't hold the button down. I should just do the math. But to get a rough idea, this is 2.4k, so one chest full is just going to give us that. Um, so I probably want, like two, three, four chests of it each time, at least. Um, if we need... Let's see. 1,030 divided by 12.1. If we need 85 flat solar panels to support one of these, uh, which probably is, like, a not entirely accurate Let's call it a hundred. Uh, we need forty by forty for each emitter, perhaps. So we need sixteen hundred. Uh, sixteen hundred scaffolding per emitter. Very roughly. I'm just going to send this back to Nalvis Orbit. Wait, I'm just going to make sure I have life support, like a lot of it. 49? Yeah, we're fine. Uh, Nalvis Orbit. And we're going to look for a whole lot of scaffolding for now. Wait, what? Did I update that? Oh, that's just a ghost. Okay. Alright, off you go to Nalvis Orbit. And we're gonna have uh, this block requesting scaffolding. Just as much as a short train can bring in one trip, I think. Or maybe double that. There is the one megawatt? Do you mean on the emitter itself as opposed to the injector? Yep, 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to build... Oh, I should have... I should have taken the solar panels. Uh, it's fine. Let's go to... Our outposter. And we'll get some more flat solar panels. Um, 20 times 48 stacks is 960. That should probably be enough. As you looked at the power grid, there was the tooltip max consumption of one megawatt. Uh, on the beam emitter itself, yes, as opposed to the injector, which doesn't really tell us. Uh, a whole lot. Oh! You mean here? It'd be nice if it told us that over here. Okay. Output 1 gigawatt. Constant consumption 1 gigawatt. How can it be that each energy beam injector... Neighbor bonus? They have neighbor bonuses? I don't think they have neighbor bonuses. This is probably because it was, uh, like, hijacked from the nuclear stuff in order to mod it in. Constant consumption 1 gigawatt. So if max consumption of the energy beam emitter itself is 1.03 gigawatts, Does that mean these should be like one to one, or is it just like it'll consume one gigawatt when it's actually working, and these have to give it energy to heat up uh, the receivers? Which doesn't seem to be heating up at all, actually. Oh, I think I left this switched off. Okay. Let's not glaive. Let's energize. Fantastic. And we're warming up. Hey, the West dude. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So neighbor bonus, you say? Does it actually have a neighbor bonus? Apparently not. They are all warming up because they're transferring heat across each other. That I was not expecting. Uh, yeah, so I think we just build one of these and a bunch of uh, heat. How hot is it going to get, actually? Is this going to give us, like, 5,000 degree heat before we get antimatter? 10k? Interesting. So... Condenser turbine at 900 degrees gives us twice as much uh, twice as much as if we're running it at 500 degrees. I didn't actually notice you could run these things at 165. Is that the temperature you get from regular boilers? Yeah, 165. So you could actually... I don't know why you would ever do that by the time you can make condenser turbines. Those have a heat limit. Energy transfer is weaker for far distance. Okay. So you can just... Which emitter use more injector? You can adjust which emitter uses more injectors. So I'm guessing when it 
gets weaker at a longer distance. You have to put more energy into it to do the same thing, right? Yes, okay. And could we put this on a giant spaceship? To have it powered by the sun? That would be cool. Or hot, I guess. Okay, um... We don't really have a target. Oh, we do, actually. Rampart ha is very small and has biters. And it has our sweet, sweet uranium that we haven't tapped yet. I think it would be a little fun. Even though we don't have much energy to play with just yet. Uh, why don't we test the glaive on Rampart? That's not biters. I thought we found some already. There they are. Okay. Can I turn this off for a second? We're going to go to Rampart. Target is this spawner. And we're going to put it in glaive mode. And it seems to be gently massaging the spawner to death. You have to target it, but the ship is moving. Uh, I figure once the ship is in motion, it's on its own surface that's not actually moving, right? Well, that got the job done, um, even if gradually. Why don't we put it on autoclave? Oh, wow. That is working faster than expected already. Uh, it seems to be not going to the nearest target. Which is probably fine. If I give it more power, more injectors or something, is the glaive going to go faster? Speed and damage of the beam weapon. Okay. Increases the energy sent, giving more heat to a receiver, or speed and damage to the weapon. We're probably bottlenecked on our solar panels, though. Whoops. Uh, yeah, so that's probably consuming too much power, and then this is getting intermittent. Or we just, and or we just ran out of the energy that we had saved up here. Maybe it's only targeting buildings? Possible. Likely can't hit bugs as they would move away from it. Um, the weapon delivery platforms actually do auto-target bugs, whether we like it or not. Um, weapon delivery systems. So I would expect nothing less from the glaive. Oh, you can see where it's moving towards, apparently. Well, uh, didn't take much. Don't burn the tree. It didn't take much to set up a little something that will probably already automatically clear this planet, but we're obviously going to add more to it. Let's get more solar going, indeed. Gecko, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Likely can't hit bugs. Yeah, uh, it'll be interesting to see if it will auto-target the bugs themselves. Um, but yeah, this planet is only 1643 radius. We should be seeing the edge of it 
Uh, probably, like, out here, I think. Where is our outposter? It's almost back at orbit already. Time to upscale violence, indeed. Alright. We are three seconds out. Do we already have our scaffolding over here? I don't see it. Oh, is this it? No, it's bringing bots. Uh, train limit is two. Scaffolding request is 8k. And we have zero scaffolding here. What's going on? Are we still delivering scaffolding? We've got... Oh, that's scrap, actually. Hold on. Scaffolding. 18k. Yeah. I haven't set up a shuttle for it just yet, but... Um, we do have a system for... Resupplying scaffolding and space belt over here. Uh, it's currently looking for another 41k scaffolding, 663 uh, underground belts. And once this fills up, it'll bother to launch. But we do have the scaffolding here. I'm just not seeing the trains pick it up yet. Provide stack threshold 1. What? Oh. Should probably put some signals between these two. I need to get the construction spiders over there. Okay, why are we taking bots away from here, and we're also delivering bots right now? Oh, I think I know. Um, yeah, this should actually be connected to here, so that we know how many available bots we've got. Whoops. Um, can we get rid of this request? Uh, whatever. It'll sort itself out. You're using the recursive blueprint chests? Uh, no? How's our... How's our glaving go? Oh, wow, look at that. I thought it tore up the copper for a second there. Yep, we've already cleared out a nest without, uh, with no cost of any physical resources and without paying any attention to it. I thought I saw them being requested. Fair enough. Alright. I need... Scaffolding delivered here. Why isn't it happening yet? Solar panels. Fuel. Bots again. Oh, that was the same one from before. Okay, let's bump up the train limit here. There's no reason why we shouldn't have multiple trains queuing to drop off here if necessary.
have them in my SE playthrough, but I've yet to find a use case for them. The damage is quite low on this thing, but it's uh, more than enough. Uh, I kind of drank my water badly, so I'm going to take a short break. I'll leave you with some LTN screensaver. And be back in just a few minutes.
Oh, this reminds me, I want to put in some radar pylons. So we can see everything without spamming radars specifically. Alright, let's continue, shall we? Uh, we should hopefully have some scaffolding over here. By now. Still nothing. Why can't I... Oh. It's the screensaver. Yeah, we've got a space platform scaffold zero. Did I pick the wrong thing? Space platform scaffold 8,000. Which is... Uh... Two short trains full of scaffolding. I think... I think it's prioritizing the flat solar panels, and I don't know why uranium right now. Oh, uranium is going in a loop. I should have noticed that. Okay, so what's actually happening here? We're setting requests based on the logistic network. And then three times. This used to work by reading the logistic network for what we've got, but we changed it so that we're just reading from the storage chests. Uh, so we need to. We need this thing to. Let's see. Three times what we're asking for. Each times three, output each. Why would this be... I thought this... Oh, 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 this is a negative. Okay. Yeah, so the amount we're asking for times three comes out as a negative. Um, versus what we've got in the logistic network. So I think we just have to change this again so that we're not reading from the logistic network, um, and instead we're reading from these chests. What's this one? Get rid of that. Okay, so that should stop those loops, and hopefully we can get to actually delivering some scaffolding. How fast are we making productivity modules right now? Um, 2.1 per minute. Okay. That's actually 1.2 per minute in the last hour. That's actually about all I was expecting, unfortunately. But it's not zero, so there's that. How's our glaive doing? Very slowly creeping towards another nest. I think at this rate the biters are going to be expanding faster than we kill them. Uh, but that's okay, this is a small planet. Um, and once we upgrade the glaive, it'll be doing better. We just need more... more solar panels out here. Okay. Auto save. Fantastic. Um... Green circuits are continuing to flow. Are we satisfying our demand for them? Yes. Uh, yes. This is actually looking for red circuits. It's looking for plastic. Okay, bottleneck shifted. More power to the glaive? Yeah, we're working on it. 
I just need scaffolding to get delivered to this station. Um, which is proving surprisingly difficult. But I'm sure we'll get there eventually. Um, I'm gonna have to empty out some of these spiders. Or at least this one. There we go. Should be enough to sort it out. Repair packs, inserters, bots. Uh, I've got an idea. I'm going to get our scaffolding spiders to give this robot network here a visit. And I'm just going to switch them to uh, stop uh, to drop off all of their scaffolding. Gakochi, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And uh, Night Dancer, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Oh. Uh, no Name, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Uh, and Isso, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Why is the yay thing delayed? That seems kind of weird. It was working before, right? Oh, there it goes. I think that was two at once. That was kind of strange. Okay. Uh, where is our scaffolding? Here it comes. So I'm just going to... Uh, I kind of need to save... Well, it's literally, like, four things. I can do it again. Um, so we're going to set our scaffolding spiders to remove everything, trash, unex uh, trash unrequested, and that's going to give us a bunch of scaffolding. And then once we've got said scaffolding in here, why is the scaffolding being removed? What? 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 What is this green wire connected to? Available bots. Contents of chest. Negative eight k space platform scaffolding. So this should be outputting eight k. What the hell? What? On the red wire. Oh, this is... this was the problem the whole time. When you request something from LTN, it's supposed to be a negative. A positive is telling LTN that you've got something available. Okay, get... stop, stop it, get... be gone. Um... Can we temporarily turn this into a purple chest? What's that mod with the logistic templates next to the Spidertron inventory? 
Uh, it is called Auto Trash. Um, and it basically... The only thing I don't like about it is if I want to casually change one of my requests as the player, uh, Auto Trash will aggressively change it back to whatever I've got uh, set up through here. Uh, but other than that, it is quite good. You can auto trash unrequested items, you can create presets, uh, so you can easily swap out uh, the things that you're requesting. Very good mod. And it also... Uh, it did the vanilla logistic network uh, trashing before that even existed, so that was nice. Okay, so we have some scaffolding in here, finally, after my missing of a single character on this constant combinator left, us, left me, I should say, scratching my head for a long time. I'll send the scaffolding spiders back and uh, update their logistic requests again. We're ready to bring this back to Calidus Orbit, uh, if I can find it. Calidus Orbit. Fantastic. And the rest of this should get sorted out by itself. I'll have to check on it to make sure. Meanwhile, Outposter uh, is seven minutes or less out from coming back here. I've been using Logistics Request Manager with, a, with good results. Allows me to copy the machine counts from a blueprint to a personal request or a constant combinator. That seems good. Good for loading rockets to new planets, yeah. Uh, I did build a system which uh, loads rockets based on circuit requests. Um, but if you... Uh, if this looks intimidating to you, anything that makes it easier might be welcome. But basically we're just... Um, we have a bunch of stuff on constant combinators at first. Uh, positives that we're requesting to put into the rocket. We read what's in the rocket, multiply that by negative one. Um, compare the two. From that, uh, after that, it's all bells and whistles, honestly. That looks much smaller than my build. Oh, okay. Um, it, it's fine. Nothing to see here. Alright. I'm eagerly awaiting the outposter to come back here. Um, where is even... The beginning of orbit, I wonder. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, let's put some scaffolding down here. Once our ship gets here. And we'll start laying out some solar panels. Now that I think about it, I should probably be putting construction pylons or even radar construction pylons on the outposter. It would make it very easy to build and expand uh, from just the ship. But it'll be fine. We're, we're here. How many kills does this have? Does it tell us? Nah, I didn't think it would. 
but I suspect it's killed... Actually, all of our biter kills in the last while should be just from this planet. Um, can I filter out the asteroids, I wonder? Meteorite... Yeah, so... In the last 12 minutes or so? We've actually killed 15 big spitters, one behemoth, five behemoth spitters, uh, 15 spawners already. Oh, 15 plus 20. It's, um, biter versus spitter spawners. And, what, 40 worms? Uh, that is really, really good for, like, literally just slapping some solar panels together. Um, we've, we've barely gotten started. Morpheus is out. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Factory Planner can do that as well as I've noticed. Been using that a few times to build new outposts. Nice. Uh, where's our ship? It is maybe three minutes out? Two minutes. Fantastic. Anything we can do while we wait for that? Um... We can wonder for the millionth time what's happening with Holmium. Oh, that's right, we need explosives. Let's get our construction spiders onto that. I completely forgot. So I think with uh, a tier 2 beacon... Come to think of it... I really need to automate bringing some, uh, some tier 6 modules down to this place. Um, it's getting a bit silly bringing it down manually. Although mostly we need productivity modules and we're really getting them quite slowly. Even so, it would be nice to have the construction spiders at least able to put out some tier 2 beacons with the proper modules. Um, but I guess for now... We'll just use some tier threes. Explosives. Um, so we're gonna need some sulfur. And I wanna just request sulfur. We'll, we'll pump water in. Request sulfur and petroleum. Oh wait, no, just sulfur. Sulfur and coal. And it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So we'll do it we'll just do a shared belt and spam a bunch of these machines. Uh let's figure out exactly where that's gonna fit. Hi, I wasn't able to watch you for the past week. Could you summarize what happened in the meantime? Uh sure I can try. So we got, uh, we got some tier 3 uh, mechanical science, not mechanical, um, material science. Uh, this is the new layout for all of the tier 1 to 4 space sciences. Although uh, we haven't done deep space yet at all, but it might look similar to this. We'll see. But we've done... Uh, universal simulation, so we've got significant data coming in from the rail network, and all of this is much more efficient now. We've also got uh, everything set up here so that we could do the tier 4 recipe uh, to make catalogs. We don't, uh, sorry, not to make catalogs, to make uh, insight. 
Uh, we don't have the tier 4 catalogs yet, but we've done the build as if we did have them. And once we change the recipe, it's just going to be... The only difference, uh, apart from efficiency uh, and what goes into it, is... We're going to have the tier 3 and 4 catalogs on this belt. Uh, and we've got blank data cards ready to go as well. Uh, so since we've got tier 3 for... Sorry, t yeah, tier 3 for all of the space sciences, the four regular ones... Um, we've now got energy beaming, so we're playing with that. Um, apart from that, we've been pushing some bottlenecks around. Uh, right now we really need a lot more explosives to support the delivery cannons. Uh, we've got a lot but we, we can mine core fragments on Via Terra, for example, very, very quickly, but we're struggling to provide enough explosives to the to build delivery cannon capsules. The factory got bigger and more efficient, this is true. Are you aware those chemical plants are missing power? Uh, which ones? These ones? Or... Oh, these ones here. Those are on a power switch. That's how I was doing... Um, that's how I was managing... Cracking. With this build. Uh, with the newer build... Where I managed to cram everything around a couple of wide area beacons... Uh, we're actually... Instead of power, uh, we're using pumps to control the cracking. Since we can't fit a pump here, uh, I actually just squeezed pumps in where we're getting the water down to the cracking area. So every other pump here is going down to uh, cracking light oil to petroleum, and every other pump is going to cracking uh, heavy oil to light. So then we just connect them via circuit network so they know how much of each fluid we've got. Uh, this one has to be light oil greater than petroleum, and this one has to be heavy oil greater than light oil. Um, really quite happy with the layout of this one. Managed to do a lot with relatively little space. Also good ratios on, for example, uh, the rocket fuel. Damon Senpai, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's your stream today? Dark days ahead. Uh, what's that like? So yeah, we've got... Uh, rocket fuel, liquid rocket fuel, plastic, sulfur, explosives, sulfuric acid, heavy light and petroleum, lubricant. Uh, all of this is produced in this block. Although, if we really want to go fast with explosives, I think it behooves us to... Um, make a build that's dedicated to it. Oh, they do have... They do have some tier 6s. Alright. Uh, let's do that with the wide area beacon, at least. Ended violently, as usual. Ouchie. Uh, how... What's the best way to lay out? We want a shared belt for input. How many of these can we fit, I wonder? Especially because I'm not sure if we have enough for another beacon. We could either... We could probably do a shared belt for output. 
or even... How fast are these machines individually? Very, very slow. We can use long arms. So I think we'll just go for input belt and output belt like this. Perhaps? That's not quite beaconed, is it? Crafting speed one. And how many machines can we fit? Move this up by two. Well, let's see what happens down here first. Uh, if I move all of that up by two tiles... Yeah, we can actually fit one more. Okay. So I'm pretty sure we could... The output here is going to be not that difficult, actually. So we should be able to fit six columns like this, which is going to give us 142 per second. That's a bit more than I was expecting. And we only need two belts for... Well, we need two belts for coal, two belts for sulfur. Uh, that might be a problem, actually. If we have a half belt of each here, and a half belt of each here, and a half belt of each here... Uh... Double this. Okay, that's less than half a belt still, that's good. We need one, two, three, yeah, three times almost half a belt of each, 57.6. I think we can manage that, yeah, call it two belts of each input coming in. Or just moving the beacon by two. Uh, we're just barely touching for this thing. Um, so I think... Well, let's place all of these. And then... I'm just kind of planning at this point. This one... Wait, that's not quite right. Something like this. Okay, so that does touch all of those. And we're going to have input belt and output belts. Alright, let me just double check all this. Uh, 57.6 per second, uh, three, four half belts, although it's not actually that much that we need, but that's how we'll split it. Yeah, this shouldn't be a problem. We'll get our water from here. Um, 
question now is... Oh, hold on, what about output? 142 per second. It's two per second for each machine. I'm pretty sure a long arm is fine for that. Since we've got a stack size of three. Don't suppose this is going to happen to line up. No, it's not. Well, we'll just have to do it like that. And then long arms like so. This goes here. Same thing on one side or the other. Uh, I think I'll do the output on the outside. And then... Just have to do the opposite on this side. Wait, that looks a bit off. Which means we're probably missing inserters here. And here. Copy, paste, flip this, and that should all line up. Okay, so we've got much output from this. Just over a belt. Do I mind bottlenecking it on a belt? We'd have one, two, uh, three belts of explosives. Alternatively, I think it's going to be a bit of a mess to try, like, belting some of this up, some of this down, all the way around. We've got the space to do it, though. But it's for such a small amount. Also, when, if we get productivity sixes in this, it'll actually slow down. Yeah, I, I think I'll just not worry about it. Um, do we want to try doubling this? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, but first we need... We need 90 per second from each resource. Um, so let's do that. Let's go for right side 90. I need to know where the train station goes first, though. Standard requester. Don't, I'm not going to bother with the right side. Not yet. And then... Uh, yeah, we did need two belts of each resource, right? Coming in. So what we're going to do here is coal on the left and sulfur on the right. We're going to have the three inserters on the left not pick up any coal unless it doesn't detect any. Same thing for sulfur on the right side. And that way we don't have to do some merging stuff after we take it out of the chests. 
happens pretty much immediately. So, um, we're going to have very straightforward, actually. Input here and input here. And on this side. We could tidy this up a bit. Input goes here, and input goes here. And then we can move this whole thing up eight tiles without any problems. I don't know if that'll give us room to double it or not. Is our ship here yet? Uh, probably. I just need to manually anchor it. So let's go here. Fantastic. Uh, what? And... I'm just going to build this directly. Actually, I could just throw out some robopods and have the three construction bots that we have here for some reason uh, do that. We've got a whole lot more if I need to take them out of the chests. But let's start by... Putting a robo port down here, and uh, place some more solar panels already. Okay, that should be enough to get some of that done while we work on this build. Can we fit another one of these? We actually can, but we probably can't fit the output belts. We're already getting three... Um, three belts of explosives coming out of... Oh, that's not connected to the right spot. Uh, these are fine. Yeah, we're already getting three belts of explosive out of this. Um, so I think we just won't worry about it. If we want to double it, we can maybe build it over here. Let's add some water. That just barely doesn't reach three. Sad. How much do we need? 576 per second. I don't think we have to worry too much about the shape of the pipe. But I, that said, I think I'll squeeze it up this way. And then... Need an offshore pump. And this is just barely not going to reach. What about this? I think I like that more. Let's get rid of these old power poles. I have a deconstruction planner for that. So that's our water. Now we just need to request coal and sulfuric acid, which I think both stack to 50. Yep. And 
I'll update the station name before I summon a train. Which reminds me, I wanted to fix this station name as well. The circuits continue to flow. Very nice. How, how even is this? 1.1k, 9.6k. Okay, all right. Let's drop. Uh, let's drop our stack size down to. I think we can skip five. Honestly, let's try four. I want to see what that looks like. I mean, as long as there's enough in the chests at the end that we load the state the train as quickly as possible, I don't know if I care. But if this is full, it means this inserter isn't picking up. And if that trend continues, we're going to bottleneck on the inserters. Maybe it was already functionally perfect, actually. Remains to be seen. Alright, our train of sulfuric acid is on the way. And we just need an output station now. Some signals. A loader. Uh, and we need to merge and split three belts into four. Oh, the spiders aren't in range. So we're just going to use a 4 to 4 balancer, I think. Should be... Is this throughput unlimited? I don't know. It's probably fine. Uh, these two... Well... I was going to say... These two belts... Um, may as well be merged, but if I don't merge them, it's actually four belts. And that'll resolve any issues about whether it's throughput unlimited or not. Let's do an underground for that one. Fantastic. And then... Mm, this one... Might be more convenient, actually, if... This one goes here. Then again, maybe not. Yeah, that works, I guess. Um, we can put this over here. I can live with that. Just connect that to LTN, change the station name, explosives, 
add some output inserters. And we should already have our coal on the way. Fantastic. And possibly some more coal? That's sulfur. If you can move it up by one tile, if you are shifting the whole setup to the left by three to four times. If I can move it up one tile... Eh, it's probably fine. We're not going to be doubling... Um, we're not going to be going for two beacons on each side, so this is okay. Alright, where is our coal? It is stuck in traffic. But I'm pretty sure this build is complete. Speaking of builds, uh, the bots are taking their sweet time throwing out some more scaffolding. I managed to make this just too wide for um, one roboport on either side. Let's just throw out some more over there. I'll be removing um, this stuff once we're done. Well, that's not going to work. This can go here, this can go here, and so on. I'll just wait till the bots finish building the scaffolding. Um, but first. Let's grab some more construction bots. That'll help. How's our glaive doing? Slowly cooking another spawner. Fantastic. And this is the whole planet of Rampart. Let's stop scanning. Oh. Did it actually automatically stop it this time? That's good. I wonder if any of our ships are having problems. Uh-oh. I was going to say I should think not, I should hope not. Uh, this one... This one has no nuclear fuel. Oh wow, you've come a long way since I last stopped by. Cool band name. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so what... Orchard. How is it that... How is it that some of our orchard ships have run out of fuel? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh no. How did you run out of fuel on the way out? Don't tell me. Oh no. Is it because we actually struggled with producing fuel on Nalvis? If that were the case, I would expect to see ships going to going to different destinations out of fuel. Uh... Oh no. Okay, how did this happen? You have an interstellar factory? Amazing. Indeed, it's pretty cool. Um... This is going to be a lot less of a problem when I 
when I create solar um, solar farms outside these other suns and beam power to the local planetary base instead of running off nuclear. Um, because basically what I think has happened some of the time at least is these things have taken too much of the nuclear fuel from the ships. That is one possibility, at least. Um, but also, I think we were short on uranium fuel cells over here. Oh. What? Can we not pick up U-235 from here? Provide stack threshold 160. We've definitely got that. Um, minimum train length 3. Encoded network ID 2, and this one should be default which will interact with 2. Request stack threshold 40, requesting 4.8k, which, uh, believe it or not, is more than 100. I mean, 100 stacks. Wait, that's not what I meant to say. Uh, 4.8k is 48 stacks. So we should be requesting a train here. Oh, don't tell me there's no path. No, it's actually using the same... Uh, I forgot to add signals here, but it's using the same signals that were already there, so that shouldn't be a problem. And if there was a train trying to get here with no path, this light should be yellow, and we would find something when we click on this station. Is there a minus on the requester? Oh no, not again. Oh, no. Thank you, uh, Balinor. Good catch. Too far for a delivery cannon, I would presume. Yeah, Interstellar is too far for a delivery cannon. And also, even when you use delivery cannons within the system, uh, depending on the size of the planet that they're firing from, and how far they have to go, uh, they actually use more and more energy. So these ones, for instance, are looking for 946 megajoules before they can send Vitam Lunch Core Fragments. Um, how is it we're not struggling at all with these delivery cannon capsules? Uh, but Via Terra last I checked. Okay, Via Terra is actually fine. Is this... Is this actually... Already because we are producing more explosives? I don't think so. It could have just coincided with a... Train delivery. Um... Oh, I want Core Fragment Holmanite, actually. Hmm. Alright, let's have a look at... where we're sending the explosives. Nothing. Okay, so we just caught these running out of explosives. Alright, what about our new explosives build? That is looking pretty good. Um, we seem... oh, 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 oh. I kind of forgot to connect the water up for uh, a third of the build. My bad. That should be a little bit faster. 
to say the least. Are we actually too slow with the long arm inserters? Or no, it's because the belt is saturated. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind missing like two per second. It's actually 2.6 per second, but when we get better prods in here, it's going to be slower. By the way, that was Night Dancer's Catch, not mine. Oh, right. Sorry about that. Night Dancer. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thanks again for the tip. Okay, so that is three belts of explosives. Um... I just want to make sure it looks like, yeah, the balanced load inserters aren't slowing it down. Why is the inserter, oh, I see. Yeah, it's because the output is backed up on this one. That's fine. Okay. Let's continue our build. Um, more solar panels, please. One, two, three. Actually, let's put that there for a second. And... Uh, that's actually a problem. How about we put a robocot here? What are those heaps of explosives intended for? Long-range biter removal? Uh, apart from there being some very explosive thirsty... Um, ...science builds? Uh, we also need explosives for the delivery cannon capsules. So the capsules themselves uh, require five explosives each. And we also need to use delivery cannon capsules to send, among other things, explosives. Um, to... Uh... For example, Via Terra. This is where we're getting all of our Holmanite. We can't send advanced uh, resources by cannon. And we're using the cannon because uh, we were using spaceships a little too much. And when they have to land and take off from such a massive planet, uh, the liquid rocket fuel cost gets excessive. And we actually bottlenecked on that. So, so instead what we're doing is cannon spam to get the Holmanite core fragments back home. Um, but currently that has been bottlenecking on explosives. So sort of everything is bottlenecked on explosives at the moment. Completely forgot about the delivery cannons, no worries. We also have to send um, uranium by cannon so that we can run these uh, nuclear plants. Uh, I might do a bunch of it off stream because it's going to be a lot of repetitive stuff, but. Getting rid of all these nuclear plants and just running off of copious solar power from Calidus, uh, that's going to free up a lot of nuclear fuel cells, and we're not going to have any trouble making sure we get it into our spaceships. But speaking of which, that's what the idea was here as well. Um, we're taking Uranium-235 out from the rail network to make absolutely sure um, it comes back here. Although, now that, I look at, now that I look at it, we're actually looping it 
from here down to here back into the rail network. I should probably do something about that. Then again, maybe it's not that bad. Oh, and look. No, wait, this is because this is a fast inserter. Um, should probably have made that a stack. But... Considering... Considering how slowly we actually consume... G35 here, I don't even really care if there's a... Nah, we should probably make this a stack inserter. I'll send the constructions... No. Uh, I won't send the construction spiders there because I want... I actually do want to make... It's gonna take a little while to tell if this is enough. I should probably just leave it running for a bit. Because I've got all of these pipes here, it might be a little bit of a pain to double this anyway. And also, it's better for UPS if I don't double this. Um, I really should have exercised more restraint like that leading up to this point. A Sigma Bean. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Removing nuclear plants should be trivial, just needs a few fuel cells and a way to blow blow them up. Oh no. Actually, I wonder if... I don't suppose the receiver... Oh, that figures. The receiver is just a bit too big to simply replace some of the reactors. On the other hand, what I could do is keep all of the uh, uh, heat pipe and exchanges and such in place, and I could um, just put the receiver somewhere like this, and we could take advantage of our existing reactors. On the other other hand, apart from leaving the landfill behind, um, I feel like it would be a bit cleaner if we just remove all of this. Is the beam emitter solar, set, solar setup good for UPS? Um, I would imagine so. I mean... No, it should be about the same as nuclear, uh, except we're not having to bring in... We're not having to bring fuel in and out. It's still going to have the heat pipes and fluid and everything. However, we're not going to do any fuel management. Um, and also, apparently... Um, so we're not going to have any tanks so that we can manage fuel and store up energy. Um, we're just going to have receiver, heat pipe, exchanger, turbines. But also um, the fluids from nuclear are a lot less stressful on UPS than they used to be, apparently. I notice you don't use the longer space pipes in this new build. They should help a bit, and you can use them on the ground too. Um, I could. I don't know if I have them in the construction spiders at the moment. Um, but I don't know how much difference that really makes, especially if we're keeping the water saturated. High temperature turbines should also help with UPS a bit, since you don't need a lot of them. Interesting. Uh, Daniel, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we're still going to need... We're still going to need to pump water in 
to turn it to steam, right? So this is making a stronger argument for throwing in some beam receivers and keeping almost everything that we've still got here. Is there a limit to how much uh, heat we can receive from one of these beam receivers? I'm guessing there's no real... Th th there isn't really a practical limit um, to how much heat we could aim at one of these things. Wait, it's not going to, like, catch fire if we send too much energy to it, is there? Is it? No idea, but I guess it's a lot more than one of those plants can make. Yeah, quite likely. All right, let's uh, let's continue playing with it, shall we? Have we run out of scaffolding? We have not run out of scaffolding. Oh, they didn't place that robo port there. I would have thought. We had roboports in here somewhere? We do. Here's one. Oh, all the bots ended up in this isolated network. That's why. I'd guess the practical limit would be determined by how fast it can be uh, dissipated. Yeah, the only question is... like, I, I suspect it's just going to reach, like... 5,000 degrees or something and just not get any hotter. I could be disastrously wrong, of course. Uh, why don't we connect this thing and all of our additional solar panels? Oh, it's already going significantly faster. Wow. And we're, and we're still getting started. Basically. Where, where is the beam? I think I need to zoom in a little bit more before I can see it on the map. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, this is... We, we can see the icon, but not the text. From that range. So can I kill the fishy? Don't kill the fishy. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have any trouble clearing out this planet. Freshly toasted fish. <laughs> While they're still in the ocean. Oh no. No, fishy! This is fine. Blueprints? Indeed. Uh, gentle Hedgehog. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Mmm, immortal fish. The best kind of fish. It's so powerful it makes the water burn. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> uh, bear in mind this is actually a little bit less than half of normal game speed as well. And we've only given it like, uh, what, 40 at the most solar panels? Oh, we've also got some nuclear power here. That's... Yeah, we're probably... We're probably using that as well. Uh, but we still don't have... Satisfaction 7.1 gigawatts. So I guess uh, these 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 are using 600. Uh, I definitely want. I'm, I'm looking forward to when we've used our scaffolding and I can send uh, send the ship away. Or I could just disconnect this. And that way we'll save our nuclear fuel. 
Okay, so what's our 7.1 gigawatts? Oh, no, it's... Let, let's move this uh, island substation. Now we're not draining power from this with the idle engines. Okay, what are we looking at? It still says 7.1 gigawatts that we need to satisfy this thing. Hello, Danga. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I would like one trout with potatoes. Delicious. Alright, damage is still not that great. Kind of. Uh, but yeah, we've got only 44 flat solar panels. Um, running this thing at the moment. Let's improve upon that, shall we? Thanks for streaming from a semi-professional lurker. Uh, Freka, thank you very, very much for the bits. Much appreciated. A thousand. Thank you. And you're welcome. Okay, uh, let's add even more solar panels. And see how it looks. It's getting faster. Still going to take a while to clear out the planet. We could actually connect multiple emitters. Although, I don't know... Um, can I copy the settings? Yeah, I can. Are they going to target the exact same spot? They are. Oh, nope, they're breaking off. Yeah, I was thinking even if they're both doing like half damage each, if they're covering different ground, it might be helpful. And I wonder if they'll stay close together or if they'll end up on like opposite sides of the planet or not. How large are your save files? Um, I haven't checked since I trimmed a bunch of surfaces, uh, since a patch allows us to confirm hostile extinction on a planet. If we remove all the biters, we can then trim the surface without, uh, without respawning all the biters everywhere. Um, but before I did that, it was half a gig. Uh, having a lot of surfaces, well, having a lot of space, basically, um, does add up. Alright, uh, I guess I can pick this stuff up, and I'll place some power poles and stuff myself. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Okay, so I want... I want to make a blueprint that is just solar panels. And scaffolding and substation. And I want it to be... Uh, like the maximum that we can get under a substation. I'd say those bugs are warm now, aren't they? I should think so. Uh, 
that's looking a bit weird. Okay, how much... I'm just going to remove some of these solar panels so I can see what I'm doing. Um, where's my... Oh, I don't have any robots. I'll take these ones. Since they seem to be a bit confused. And... I was going to put on exoskeleton legs, but this is a bit quicker. I would still flood them a little. Flood them. Uh, okay, so if, if I offset this a little bit... What the? Uh, then I can fit, I don't know, some... Is there any point? in putting accumulators here? I don't think so. Is there anything else 2x2 two two that would be useful? Um, I doubt it. If I... No, if I copy-paste this... I can't really see if that's going to reach. It's okay, so we have to exclude. I need to actually go pick up that substation. Okay, so now if this reaches here, all right, good. So we need it to be 30, uh, 16 by 16, I think. That gives us 255 uh, solar panels. I would feel better if that was closer to the middle. 16, 16, 17, 17. Okay, cool. Uh, snap to grid, relative, entities, and tiles. And... I'm just going to call it that, I guess. Did I already do this? No, not quite. Okay. Now then. Where did I put it? Here? Let's go grab ourselves some more stuff. Uh... Why don't you hold on to these receivers for me? I'll add some logistic bots in here. And I need to request a whole lot more... Um, ...flat solar panels. Not like this night when you're orbiting a star, yeah. And I can't imagine that there would ever be burst consumption from our energy beam emitters. It's not like they're going to send extra energy if the receiver is not as hot or something, right? I definitely should have brought myself some... I think I remember the construction pylons being a bit disappointing, but we've got 
radar construction pylons as well now. I think we can even make them already. Pylons. Construction pylon, radar, construction pylon. Cool. And it seems like we've already built those uh, construction pylons. Yeah, we've got, we had like two when we were trying to play with them earlier, but they only have a, uh, 64 by 64 construction area, whereas the radar construction pylons have a huge construction area, 32 logistic connection distance, which is the same, um... And I think that is, that means we can actually put them as far apart as possible to connect with the wiring. Um, and we, we can probably even do like an upgrade planner on this, I wonder. Apparently not. I want to just see if Pylon, okay, Pylon can become Pylon Substation, Pylon Substation can become Construction Pylon or Radar Construction Pylon, and Construction Pylon can become Radar Construction Pylon, it just doesn't do it automatically with this by default. All right, cool. Um, that means that means if I build a bunch of radar construction pylons, um, which we are currently working on, do we have what we need? I th think we're missing bearings, is all, which we do have in the rail network. Um, somewhere. Bearings. I think we're bringing them up by shuttle. Yeah, here they are. Uh, we could allow short trains to pick these up. And then we'll just request a few. Stack size 50. 2000. That pylon not roboport, just extend construction area, still need roboport or supercharger to charge robots? Yes, indeed. Um, so I wonder if... I think if we go too far with construction pylons or and or um, radar construction pylons, because they don't have a place for the robots to charge, they might actually... If, if I try turning this into a radar construction pylon, and if I just build this out indefinitely, sooner or later the bots are going to run out of energy and turn back. So there are limits to how much we can build it this way. Name in base? Pepper Mancy? No worries. Uh, can we fit that here, I wonder? I think so. A pretty good fit actually. Oh, nope. It's kind of. Yeah, no, that's right. Alright, we need a C. We need an N. Uh, we need a. M. And pepper. Oh, I don't want this one. Unless you want it to be blue. Or any any colour for that matter. Um, and then we need a couple of P. And 
then PE fantastic that kind of looks like a smaller P how about this yeah construction spiders pay it a visit please Uh, Baduk Giza. Let's see, where should we put this? Maybe over here? While you are at it, no worries. Thanks, good, looks good, no worries. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to go over to uh, this next block. Uh, let's see. G-I-S-A. Oh, I actually fit that perfectly. B-A-D-U-K. D, 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 U, and K. Not that one. Um, K. Baduk. Isa. Fantastic. And we need to make sure that's powered as well. Let's get rid of the old power poles here. Uh, that will, in fact, already be powered. Wow, that's a nice reward. Uh, thank you. Not the one that came up with it or anything. Got quite a collection of names now. If you really wanted to go ham, you could write it in Korean. Oh no. I think I would be struggling with that for a while. Especially that second character. That's a lot. Uh, but yeah, no worries if you don't want to. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, let's go... was that all of them? I still need to make a sound effect or something so I notice those. And also I think um, I can use the activity feed as like a to-do list with the rewards, where some of them just check off immediately. I'm sure there is a text-to-blueprint converter for Factorio somewhere? Maybe. I just followed. Kane Blood, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's uh, pretty simple if you know Hangul. It's actually letters that make syllables. Oh, like a uh, phonetic language? I love those. I'm like a very casual language nerd, I guess. Uh, but if you are not familiar with it, it can be complicated. That's true of a lot of things. Uh, speaking of which, let's continue with Factorio. I need to request scaffolding to make this a bit smoother. Um, scaffolding. All of it, please. Am I not? Oh, I'm actually not in the robo network here. That would help. Okay. How's our beam doing? It's beaming. I like how uh, when you click on the choose coordinates when it's on autoclave, it actually shows you where it's going. 
I assume you've already launched the Nexus? Uh, no? I don't know what that is yet, Daniel. For example, the first syllable is ba, and it is composed of thing, which is p slash b, and that, which is a. Oh, okay, so there's a... Yeah, that's just like a contraction, sort of. Yeah, the individual energy beams are a bit weaker, but it might be more effective having them split up, I don't know, even before we've got enough energy to support them. What are our bots doing? Whoa, okay, that works. T-Hax used liquid rocket fuel on spaceship, so it be a wire. Yeah, I've spent quite a bit of time, like this is my first playthrough of space exploration, so rather than just rushing through technologies, I've actually been like exploring them to the fullest. Good that the glaive goes for the spawners, indeed. Yeah, if it picked arbitrary biter targets, um, it might take a while. rocket fuel do I have? Plenty. I'm happy we'll have SE streams until Christmas. <laughs> it, I don't know, well, I won't say that it won't take that long. How's that? Oh, I've used up all my energy. Um, rip. We've still got electricity on these personal roboports, though. Which Chris? <laughs> How dare you. Space Exploration Part 1000. <laughs> oh no. Especially if going also for the secret slash alternate win condition. That could be fun. Uh, I think if anything... I don't know. I would also almost want to um, take a bunch of late game blueprints like that use wide area beacons. Design the hell out of it in editor extensions and then like do sort of a relative speed run to keep the UPS higher. Uh, glaives are doing work. Okay, how are we for power? We're getting there actually, already. Oh, the maximum is now 8.2 gigawatts. Because I added the energy beam emitter. Oh, okay, that electricity is just, do we have enough power? It wasn't like a roboport charging up or something. Good to know. And this might actually inch it towards the edge. Okay, we do need quite a few more solar panels, but we've got the space. Uh, I should probably use that blueprint that I made.
I didn't actually realize just how many solar panels we'd already placed, though. Alright, let's grab some more scaffolding. And I'll park myself here for now. What's going on on Narvis? I wanted to see how Explosives is doing. Uh, we've bottlenecked on coal. Yep. And considering we've got some spaceship problems, um... Uh, the ships from Deadwood, some of them might be dead. This one needs rescue. This one does not need rescue. I don't understand how we've only got some of them that have run out of fuel. If we've got, uh, hmm. I was going to say, if we've got ships that are dead in space anyway, this would be a good opportunity to redesign them, but I think the only change that I particularly want to make at this stage is just to give them more containers. Uh, what do we got on Nalvis ship-wise right now? So, let's add... I know we can add at least eight chests. Which is quite a bit, actually. Uh, let's do an integrity check. Oh, wow. We can add so many more chests. Can I fit them, though? The question is now, can I fit them? Uh, that's a good potential problem to have. What about now? Where are you taking that? Oh, I see. Uh, 894 out of 900. That's actually perfect. Uh, so now we need to... connect all of these by circuit wire. And here... And I think we could get rid of this connection now. Oops. So how many chests is this? Um, 27? Wait, how did we get an odd number? Didn't we have 10 chests? And I see even numbers added on each side. No, there's three on this side. I forgot this one, right here. Well, I can live with that, I think. So... 27 chests, uh, times 4800. Means we can fit 129,600 Oh, but I forgot. It's going to cost more to take off. Is that going to mean... Uh, we're still bottlenecked on liquid rocket fuel. Night Whiskers, take care. Thanks for hanging out. We've had so much COVID lockdown, I'm used to binge watching. Yeah, there's a lot of opportunity for that these days. I can't scroll. I love your shuttle designs, by the way. Uh, thank you. Personal solar panels might actually be useful here. I think the personal solar panels don't actually give extra. It's just locked at 30 kilowatts. We can try them. Um, I mean, it says 30 kilowatts. Oh, we're also... Yeah, we're, we're just charging the batteries right now. Oh, is this actually... I can see... 
it taking up a tenth of a percentage point um, every couple of seconds or so. Let's try the portable RTGs. That's definitely faster. But to be fair, we've got uh, 4 by 4 times 3. If we had enough personal solar panels to fill that, we've actually got um, just over a third. I think it'd be about the same. Yeah. I think they'd be about the same. While we're at the sun, that is. No, wait, he has ion engines as well. Uh, yeah, so... It's just the taking off from the planet that concerns me. Um, in fact, I think... Oh. I, I think I could check it here. Now this is a pretty good example. Uh, now this is about the biggest planet that we have the ships take off from. So... Uh, with container stress at 894, we need 748 gigajoules of launch energy. These two tanks are mostly empty right now. Uh, let's just check. Now this is radius 5692. Uh, this ship in particular is trying to go to uh, Morpheus, the barrel core fragment planet. Morpheus is significantly smaller than that. So if this ship can take off from uh, Nalvis, it should be worth upgrading. Well, it, it definitely will be worth upgrading. Um, it's cargo capacity. Um, it'd be very easy to figure out if this thing showed us exactly how much uh, we could fit in the storage tanks. This is Morpheus 4. I'm just going to add something to this. Upgraded. Okay. Uh, so we're waiting on liquid rocket fuel for some reason. Despite adding lots of these. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, we seem to be out of everything that makes, um, liquid r rocket fuel, which our entire base depends on. Um, what is happening with Vulcanite right now? It's being produced, we're just consuming it too quickly. Uh, I don't know if we're actually bottlenecking on this block. Possible? Are we destroying Vulcanite? I don't think so. That's all sorted out already. Um, I need better prod modules. What is this? You're trying to pick up... Huh? Do you have only one cargo wagon with solid rocket fuel? Oh, what is this? <laughs> well, there's your problem. Um, there's a little bit of landfill missing here. And we never actually completed that build properly. Okay, uh, need to remember to fix that, but uh, 
Are we still using spaceships for, to take from Rose? We should probably stop that. Except then we're going to bottleneck even more on explosives. That might be okay if we can just get enough ships going to and from Deadwood. Um, of which... A couple of them... Are not doing so well. I need to mount a rescue mission. This one is probably like three centimeters from Capellas, but it's been moving at this like minimum speed, 0.37 for goodness knows how long. So if I get it to turn around to go back to uh, Deadwood in order to take some nuclear fuel. Uh oh. No, this one has... Okay, this one has some nuclear fuel. But yeah, at some point we just took too much um, fuel from the spaceships to run the nuclear reactors. That's my best guess. If I can replace these with... Uh, I nearly said glaives. If I replace them with uh, beamed power, we're obviously not going to have that problem. If I had one more way to power spaceships, uh, like any other way, I could not... I, I could have a better system for delivering the uranium fuel cells so that we don't take them from the spaceships. Uh, but for now, I'm not going to worry too much about it. Let's just keep building out our infrastructure. Uh, I think first thing I'll do is... Well, first first thing I'll do is get some scaffolding. I'm going to build this thing out until we've got lots of power here. And we're going to build beam emitters aimed at every planet. Uh, every planet in our solar system, that is. And then we'll replace our nuclear plants with uh, receivers. And we'll probably just use the existing nuclear infrastructure, the heat exchanges and such. And then we can stop spending nuclear fuel on those things. We should already have an overabundance of nuclear fuel. I think. Yeah, it's looking good, actually. No path. What? Are we missing... We're missing a signal over here. Uh, first we need to fix this thing. This wire goes here and goes here. Um, this thing should be... Oh. Yeah, that... How am I gonna... I'm just gonna send this train back home. And I'll just double check the next one should work. Yeah, we've got all the wiring set up properly this time. Okay, cool. Let's send our construction spiders... Uh, back over here. And we'll place a signal so that this train can leave. It's also blocking these other two. As my calculation, 100k rocket fuel equals 200 gigajoules. If that is correct, uh, what are we looking at here? 748. 
we can we can take off from Nalvas if that's true. Did you miss that one bit of belt at the fuel stop? Uh, one bit of belt at the fuel stop. Do you mean this bit here? No, I think the only thing that was missing was inserters because there was a little bit of landfill missing. It should be fine. Uh, I'm really having to go back for scaffolding quite often. I, I think I should just put in some temporary roboports. Make it a bit easier. And I'm going to stop requesting uh, scaffolding. Also, stop requesting quite so many solar panels. Let me in. Let me in. I did, didn't realize it came from two directions. No worries. Sleepy Dove. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um... Okay, so let's build this out this way as well, and I'll give the robo network my robo ports, turn off my requests. And that might be a bit easier. Uh, it also might be a bit easier on the electricity grid here if we connect it back to the solar. Because the bots are consuming so much energy. Okay. What's next? Um, I'm actually not sure. So explosives is bottlenecked on coal, yes? Or at least it was for a time. Let's also add icon for this. And then... I might just, uh, go place a couple of solar panels over there myself. Oh, there's scaffolding this way as well. Whoops. Is that going to reach? I should have bought more robo uh, roboports. Here it comes. How's our power looking? It is in the green. Fantastic. That glaive is looking a bit faster now. Of course, we've only got... Uh, we've only got six of these. What if we make it eight? We might go over our current power with that. Uh, I don't think so, actually. We've got, like, 
a bit more than two gigawatts to spare. Yeah, that's actually a really good fit. Transmission efficiency, 66.38%. Emitter strength, uh, it just changed actually, 2.8 gigawatts, 2.86, 2.91, is this while we're placing more solar panels? Or is it like warming up or something? Three point two four. Three point two eight, three point three two. Uh is this one any different? Four gigawatts. Interesting. What's with the fluctuations and building up of emitter strength? It takes a bit to warm up. Is it because um, there were more injectors closer to this one? And now we've got enough to support both of them at full power or something? It's really plowing through them now. But we could still do better. Now, is it going to be any better or worse if I like copy-paste this when I have the power? Or should I have... Like, more chambers, more injectors, on the same network here, for lack of a better word. Does it make any difference at all? I wonder. Alright, how are we doing? This is definitely a faster way to do it. Are we running out of scaffolding yet? Not even close. In that case, let's put our attention somewhere else. Uh, probably not in orbit at the moment. Well, really, I need to rescue... Okay, all of a sudden we don't seem to be having any trouble with coal. I haven't got a high priority on this thing or anything. For Glaive, I just increased the power more injectors to the existing ones. For beaming ship energy, it makes sense to build more. Okay, what about... What about for building uh, for beaming power to a bunch of different planets? And I'm also realizing if I were to How big can I make a reactor with heat pipes all connected? Could I have just one receiver here and connect all of these, or is that going to get uh, messed up? Should I build one big reactor somewhere that's going to be enough for the whole planet? How much is enough for the whole planet? Uh, we're currently at 12 gigawatts. That's... Less than I was expecting, to be honest. That's considerably less than I was expecting. More glaving? Top tactic? Why 
Wow. It is actually going to be shockingly easy to power Nalvis with this. Okay, so if I... If I, like, pump all of my power into one big thing like this, that's got a bunch of energy beam emitters, is it going to send excess energy? Like, if, if, if we've got a receiver that's fully heated up... Uh, let's try this. Is it going to keep consuming power if this thing is at full t uh, maximum temperature, for example. The atmosphere is electrifying, indeed. Claves are convenient, fire literally and forget. Yes, absolutely. Uh, energy s emitter strength. Transmission efficiency over the same surface is actually 95%. Okay, I'll leave that running for a bit. Um... Actually, we can probably afford another one or two of these, right? Uh, not two. And not one. Oh, we've got accumulators, that's from the ship. Okay then. It's gonna take a while for that to heat up. Actually... I don't really want to take a break from glaving this thing. How is Rampart even looking, spider-wise? Yeah, we really can clear it with just these two glaives, I think. Might take a little while. Uh, let's place our blueprint again, so that I can see exactly where the solar panels go, and place some more roboports. I might just swap that one out. Okay. I was going to say construction radar pylons would be very helpful, but with nowhere for the bots to recharge, they'll just turn back once they have to go far enough. We're down to 46 life support canisters, really not concerned about that. Um, so, are we getting... Enough explosives now? That is looking a lot better. We've got... Capsules accumulating. Why is this one not fire? Oh, it's recharging. Yeah, that's why we need so many cannons. Um, we're actually accumulating... Uh, cannon capsules now. Oddly enough, the ones in the middle take the longest time to accumulate, even though these two should be equal, one would imagine. I can't actually see why that is. We've got capsules all the way up here, which makes sense. This is the first 50-50 split, and these two are 25-25. Uh, but I don't understand why we've got capsules accumulating up to here, and we've got none 
at the end of this spell. It is connected. Okay, so we should see an increase in Holmanite Core Fragment production. 20 minutes ago it went up really sharply. Hopefully it'll be more consistent now. Middle Belt has a double number of cannons. Yeah, but I was thinking about that, but the thing is... The... Oh. Yeah, that does make sense, doesn't it? Okay. It'll sort itself out eventually. Like, it won't make a difference if we prioritize one or the other long term. Yeah, good call. Uh, Freka? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, how is our build coming along? It is... Coming along bit by bit. Maybe it would be good to bring more robots. How many have we got? Uh, only 25? What? Oh, don't tell me they're all, they all jumped in my backpack. Well, there's your problem. So that's five times as many bots now. We can probably manage with that. When we're building out so much scaffolding though, you really... I was going to say you can't have too many bots, but on the other hand, we do have to recharge them. Cool. Uh, 13.1 gigawatts. 12.1 gigawatts, so all of these consume 1 gigawatt uh, each. Nice. What are we up to? Only 150... 60... So we're putting 2 gigawatts of power into this thing? And it's only up to 167 gigawatts. Then again, the amount of time it takes for a nuclear reactor to warm up. Also, the emitter is taking time to ramp up. So these two are now at 4 gigawatts each. Okay. Uh, I actually do want to find out if I... aim this at... Calidus Orbit. What? What? Did I... Is this a different surface? Capellus Orbit. Whoops. Calidus Orbit. Aim it here, please. Uh, we're at 4.87 gigawatts emitter strength. That's interesting. 4.72, 4.69, it's going down. Why did it start higher and then it's dropping? That temperature is going up pretty quick. Okay, well, regardless, uh... If we need more, we're just going to spam more to heat up the reactors that we're going to build. What I did want to know is if there's a maximum that this is going to get to. Uh, 
Um, I, I like that you can shift right click, shift left click these things. That's very helpful. Okay. How's the build going? It is going. You mean a maximum temperature on the receiver? Yep, 10k. So I don't suppose it I don't suppose it catches fire after that, right? 10k is quite hot. Repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, maybe I should build a construction ship, um, specifically for this task, so that we're not parking the outposter here. I mean, it, it is sort of the outposter's job, but I could bring my shuttle back and leave the outposter to, to do this. How many robopilots are we requesting? Uh, I don't see any on this chest. How did they get there before? Robopot, five. That is not enough. We could definitely add some more chests still. Uh, yeah, we're actually... We've actually got lots of room for more chests. So I'm thinking... Robots, Roboports, um, what else? We've already got chests for scaffolding. No issues with that. Also, if you aim a non-glaive beam at a position where a ship's receiver is, and then the ship departs, the beam should safely pause and wait for it to return. Nice. So, so can you actually aim a beam at a moving ship? And if not, is there a way to take advantage of this anyway? We could have a receiver. Okay, the receiver can store 10k heat. We don't actually have a circuit condition to detect heat. Do we? I don't think so. We could detect steam. Hey, Mars. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we could, like... If we use a condenser turbine... And run it off of 900 degrees steam. Is a heat exchange maximum, oh, minimum temperature 500 degrees. Can we, do we need a better heat exchanger to take advantage of 900 degrees steam? How are you? How's the factory? Not too bad. As you can see, we're playing with uh, energy beaming. And we're just getting started um, building the infrastructure out to really take advantage of it. So, if we manually control a ship, and we let a beam receiver get to 10k before we make it take off, and we run... Even if it's just regular heat exchangers. We could probably make an interstellar journey on just the heat that we've stored. If we want to detect it by circuit condition... I would think we'd need to store some steam, which isn't going to get much better than what we could have done before. Yes, you can. 
Uh, is that, yes, you can run an interstellar voyage on just the heat stored in one of these receivers, or yes, you can detect how hot it is. A 10k charge receiver stores qu quite enough for a few trips. Wow. That is... That is very interesting. Actually. So we could actually... We need liquid... We need liquid rocket fuel to take off from a planet, of course. And we need ion to go to and fro. But we wouldn't need any nuclear fuel. You can store the heat in the receiver. You cannot detect how much heat is left. Okay. That's unfortunate. There is a mod that can measure heat, but I don't know which one. I might have to consider using it. Let's stop consuming our life support. Yeah, I, I'm getting ideas. I almost want to jump into editor extensions to find out if they work. High temperature heat exchanger creates 5,000 degrees steam. I don't think we have that yet. What do we need? Heat exchanger. Oh, wait. I think we did unlock this. High temperature heat exchanger. Heat. No. Can we research it? High temperature heat exchanger. Four, 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 and four. Okay. That is 16 new types of data card that we need to make builds for. Uh, might be worth it, though. A large heat exchanger designed for high temperatures and high capacity. Oh no, T-Hacks is getting ideas. Answer to question, which Christmas is 2023? Maybe. Um. Yeah. I guess you could... There might be a way to do the math. Just how long you need to run the spaceship ion engine. How much power it consumes. Okay, let's uh, let's set this thing to request RoboPorts. And I want quite a few of them, actually. Let, let's just fill this chest with them. And construction bot. Uh, logistic bot. Well, I don't think we're going to need a whole lot of logistic bots, actually, but... Well, no, I just don't. Um, that should have been, like, 2,000. I'm going to bring this thing back to Nalvis Orbit, and I'm going to come back immediately with the ability to build this stuff out significantly faster. Wait, can we even fit the spider on this as well? We can. Let's... I know it's going to cost more fuel to take off, but who cares? Let's do it. Nalvis Orbit launch this is modded I'm guessing anyways this is awesome it is indeed the main mod is called space exploration we've also got some quality of life stuff and uh, what is it called uh, crafting combinator a real big dill. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, okay. Whoop. Autosave. 
I think I will reduce the frequency of the autosaves. They're not that quick. Uh, so settings. Other. Autosave interval. One hour. Okay. We actually can't... We actually need to check if all of these have been cleared already. Where are the glaives? Oh, there they are. Uh, Frenza, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So I would imagine we're maybe like... 30% of the way done clearing this planet, if I just leave things be. Uh, I still need to go rescue a bunch of ships. Actually, I'm very tempted... Yeah, no, let's do that. I want to make a new ship, and we're going to make it as fast as possible with the... with the increased... Uh... with the increased uh, ship integrity that we've got. And this one's never going to land on a planet, we're just going to run it off of Ion. And I'll set it up so that we can send the outposter to Calidus orbit and build everything out by remote control, I think. Alright, what should we... What should our first step be? Um, it's going to be bigger than... I think we don't have a ship that uses this space right now. So we could probably... Probably start with that, honestly. We do have a bunch of ion here, still. This will actually save me the trouble... Oh wait, yeah no, we don't want to remove that anyway. Um, okay, if there's any bots here, which there are, there should be spaceship floor. There is not. Did we stop bringing that here? Looks like it. Okay, so we're probably going to make it, like, pretty wide. I don't know how wide exactly, but um, I want to have as many uh, ion engines as we can practically fit, and then keep the whole thing, uh, what's the word, keep the streamline at 100%, so we'll maybe have something like a triangle. Perhaps. So we're just going to have basically ion engines, a bunch of tanks. Uh, I haven't used the, what is it called, canisters? I know those are far more dense. Yeah, we can stack them to 50. And they contain a thousand. As opposed to ten thousand for a four by four tank. On the other hand, um we've been able to go almost anywhere on like eight to ten tanks. On the other other hand, if we're building a ship that is meant to be fast, uh it would be cool if it also had a ludicrous um amount of fuel reserves. Maybe we could even include some rocket booster tanks so it can go planet side. We'll see. Depending on how much container stress we've got um, and what I want to carry I was primarily thinking of using this for rescue, rescuing ships, but we could probably make it a bit more multi-purpose. It might even replace our shuttle. Uh, 
but where are we right now? We're two and a half minutes out from Nava's orbit. Okay. I really wish you could have blueprints, um, like just place this down once and it'll place the solar panels when it can. That would be very helpful. What can we do on Nalvis for the moment? I actually feel like making a start on another tier of science. What do we get? Oh, and I should do some zone discovery as well. Um, I think... I think I just want to do a bunch of untargeted zone discoveries. And see if we find anything close that's useful. Um, but generally, what... What tier 4 science would be most useful if we had to pick just one? Energy 4 is already looking pretty tempting. Uh, material and Astro 4 gets us into Naquitite. Uh, dynamic Emitter is under Energy. We get a bunch of upgrades, including lab productivity, from Bio 4. That is not insignificant. Self-healing gel. Um, this thing leads to temperature. That needs everything tier 4. Material 4 also gives us more damages. Nequitite research and some deep space zone scanning. Uh, you just reminded me, actually. Ooh, what's this? Heavy assembly. It looks like some kind of advanced um, steampunk-ish engine. It leads to Nexus antimatter engine. That requires a lot. Um, but you actually reminded me, I haven't done the space probe stuff. Zero point energy data, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, asteroid belt probe, we can do that and I haven't done it yet. And star probe. Uh, I can't remember where it goes, but I built these... I built these space probe rockets a while ago, and I haven't used any of them yet. What do we have here? Inf... money. Uh, let's turn all this back on. Inf... money. It's very far away, and it gives us stone, and it's waterless, and it's full of biters. Not very interested in that. Let's just mark that as we've looked at it. Uh, Anson? Anson. We've got a uh, mysterious structure again. Radius is moderate. Iridite. We haven't had any problems with iridite for a long time. Uh, waterless. Kind of far away. Not too excited. Ados. Oh, there it is. Cryonite. Really not worried about cryonite. Uh, kind of far away. Yeah, probably skip that one. Prism. Prism. We've got fairly far away. Vulcanite. Big radius. Uh, but we've got like three planets with vulcanite in our solar system, so 
I think... I think we would probably just expand our power network and... Core, core mine the Vulcanite more aggressively first. Uh, Sanj? Whoops. How did I... Sanj. Copper core fragments. Very interesting. Not very far away. It's in Angolus. No biters. Um, that's actually great. Let's make that, like, 20. Oops, I didn't mean to view surface. That reminds me, there was another surface that I accidentally viewed. Um, that I meant to delete. Uh, but it's in the same... The same solar uh, system as Morpheus. So if we build a... If we build around uh, Angler's orbit and beam some power, we could take advantage of that in two locations. Uh, it's also about the same distance as... What is it called? Uh, Orchard. 4,000 radius versus uh, 8,800 radius. How do we take off from it, though? Well, I'll think about that later. What else do we have? Uh, Aporia and Tenor. Aporia is erudite, small ish, not many biters. Um, a little bit further away, not too interested in that. And last but not least is Etenor. Oil. Uh, we've got like three or four moons that we can get oil from in our solar system. So this one's a no. Automating probes made me finally start using latches in my circuits. A stepping stone to the madness that is the Arcosphere Balancer. Exciting. I took first screenshot, then I forgot to take other screenshots. I suspect I'll have... That was good timing. I uh, suspect I'll have to visit planets again. Latches are great. I use them in my train system. Very helpful circuit, indeed. Uh, if you want to know how to build a latch, wait till I get to the tutorial. Just kidding. I'll demonstrate it now as well. Uh, but the first tutorial... Uh, the writing part is pretty much done. And I just need to record it now. Okay, so you're going to need three decider combinators for your basic latch. Um, typically, well, the, the first example that comes to mind, the uh, use case for it, is we're reading from... I don't have one because I turned off my logistic requests. Uh, but say you're reading from a accumulator for a power switch, or maybe you're doing cracking and you don't want it to flicker on and off all the time. Um, so you're reading from something you've got under a certain condition, you want to switch on. Let's say if water is less than uh, 40. And if water is greater than 80, we want to switch off. And then you connect both of those to another decider combinator. And this one's going to be a memory cell. It's got, an, it's got its output linked to its own input. Or rather, its 
its input linked to its own output. Uh, because it takes one tick for this to do something, and the wire transmission is instantaneous, uh, if you give this a signal, let's uh, let's just make a unconditional example here. Each greater than zero output each. Well, that's not exactly unconditional, but disconnect that for now. Okay, I'm going to feed this a signal, and we're going to say uh, fish. I'm going to leave that running for a second, and then we're going to turn it off. So what's happening here is uh, 85 fish is received at the input. One tick later, it outputs 85 fish, and in that same tick, it travels across the wire and goes to the input. So next tick, it's going to output 85 fish, and next tick, it's going to output 85 fish, and so on. Uh, what we're going to do with our memory cell here is say if green is greater than red, output one green. Um, let me just get rid of this. So our conditions are less than 40 water green, greater than 80 water red. Okay, let's say we've got 39 water. It's going to output green, and then this one's going to be outputting green as well. Uh, and then it goes up to 41. We're no longer outputting green here. We're not outputting red because it's not a, a greater than 80. So it's going to hold on to this condition until, uh, until we go above 80 water. And then we're going to receive a red signal. Green is no longer going to be greater than red, so it's going to switch off. How you control train with latch? Uh, I don't think I have had occasion to use a latch to control a train. I only use latch for fluid control. Fair enough. First use some minimums, then maximums, and got smarter. How I use very simple circuit for arcospheres. How do you remove wires without removing the buildings? Uh, just point... Take your wire and point at the existing wire and run it again. Just like that. If you drag a wire and that color already connects the two, it gets removed. Indeed. Silent Storm, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Marsh, welcome, welcome also. All right. Now that that little diversion is done, uh, let's... Well, actually, let's um, go pick up some spaceship parts. I think I stopped requesting them. So I'll have to change that. Yeah, here we go. Uh, one console. I don't know, a thousand floor? 200 walls. Some doors. Uh, some iron engines. Maybe some iron tanks. Maybe some of these. Clamps. Let's see if that's enough. So by connecting input and output, it'll sort of cycle the initial input. Despite it no longer being true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if we make a bunch of combinators... Uh, in a circle, we're going to say each times one, output each, uh, and we connect those combinators in a loop. Um, 
Now it's going to be a little bit of a mess. Actually, okay. Ignore this little bit of magic for a second, but I'm going to use a pulse generator. It's just going to make sure that I only put this input through for one tick. Uh, where is my constant combinator? Oh, here it is. There. Okay. What happened? There's no wiring on this. Did I... Circuits. Pulse generator. Okay. Oh, I think I see what I did there. Okay. Now then. Um... We're just going to feed this a signal. For one tick only. Uh, what happened? Oh, I didn't connect this, that's why. And you should be able to see that that signal is going round and round in circles. Even if it's a little bit hard to keep up with. Every time this uh, light blinks, it means it's it's sending an output. Uh, or the output has changed. How do you put up discrete wires? I keep chaining them. Uh, just press, like, Q to stop... Uh, to stop connecting them like that. Okay, so here we've got a loop of this 100 ticks going round and round in circles. Uh, basically, we can make it smaller and smaller and finally just the smallest size of that loop looks like this. Um, that's the part that's counterintuitive, uh, I think, is this is actually a loop, even though it's only one combinator. Alright, let's have a peek at building our new ship. Did I check all those zones? Yeah, Etenor was a... Um... Etanor was another oil moon, and we've got plenty of those uh, in this planet, in, in the solar system. In fact, we haven't tapped Soma yet. I probably should, since we can't make rocket fuel fast enough. We're actually not bottlenecking on crude oil, though. So I need to make more of these blocks with the wide area beacons. Making fluid. Nice explanation. Sounded like someone who teaches IT. Uh, thank you. Even, uh, even just writing a script for... Is this going to go here, actually? I don't know about that. We'll see. Uh, even just writing a script for, like, the absolute introduction... Um for circuit stuff. Uh, really, I, I'm really coming to appreciate just how much work uh, goes into teaching. Unsung heroes. Wait, did I just try to like describe myself as a hero? Whoops. No, you heard nothing. It's fine. Um, that would probably make more sense. Okay, uh, spaceship ion engine. We actually need the, the floor sticking out the back to place these. Uh, then again, maybe this could be the back. Oh, you're kidding. Oh no, wait, that's fine. What am I saying? Um, get rid of this, and this, and this, and this can go here, get 
we want it to be symmetrical. Um, what what machine do we need if we want to use canisters? Oh, we need a particle accelerator to empty the canister. That's um that's kind of chunky. Particle accelerator. Yeah, that might be a bit bigger than I want for our ship. Hero and Superstar are horrible ways to describe IT workers. And Rockstar, yeah, feeds into the egotistical idiots that have ruined some of the perceptions of IT workers over the years. Just workers like any others? Um, maybe I should have... Isn't it going to use a lot of power? Like, a lot, a lot of power. Max consumption, 103 megawatts. Minimum is 3.3 .3 megawatts. Um, yeah, that's a lot. We're not doing that. At least, not yet. So, I think we'll just have the typical... Uh, typical iron engine, sorry, iron tanks, like so. Maybe even more of them. This is 12, this is already a lot. The part of my message that was intended as a compliment was who teaches, not IT, indeed. Uh, let's have some walls like this, perhaps. Some lasers. We're going to need a lot of lasers, actually, if this thing's going to go really fast. And the only thing we've got to stop the rock is lasers. Um, shield. Here it is. We need energy and... Oh! Oh! Energy 4 only gets us to shield projectors. That's pretty attractive. Um, yeah, I think we might go for energy first. But I do want to see how well we can do with just lasers. Um, so I'm thinking... We could probably... Probably go a bit further here. Let's see what it looks like, integrity-wise. Don't need those there. And maybe a door. Might be a good idea. So, what's our integrity look like? Uh, we're actually only halfway. We could make this thing really big. But I don't necessarily want to. Um, maybe include a lot more containers. Uh, laser turrets are going everywhere. And we need a lot of power, so we probably move this forward so that we can have... Oh, how much do we need power-wise? If this is seven, uh, we need about seven or eight condenser turbines, not considering the power that we need for lasers. Okay. Let's grab the tiles. It might be easier if I 
build it bigger and then make it smaller. If I need to. What level of each uh, science have you got to so far? Uh, tier 3 for all of them. Except for deep space, of course. Uh, I wish there was an easy way to calculate how many liquid rocket fuel tanks we would need to take off from a planet. But I'm thinking we're going to have plenty of container available. Uh, we've run out of... We've run out of floor. Let's go pick up some more floor. If I can stop bouncing around here. Can't fly inside. <laughs> Apparently this is inside. Okay. Give to me more floor, please. Fantastic. Uh, Faustus. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's cut paste this part and see how much integrity we've got. Probably plenty. And what's our um, streamline looking like? Uh, invalid. No tiles were found connected to a properly enclosed... How is this not properly enclosed? Did I hit it too soon? I did. Hull stress is actually a bit over the maximum. Okay. Good to know. Let's bring it back a bit. Uh, I think here is fine. I won't bother removing the flaws just yet. Oh, we don't have walls, apparently. Yep, there we go. What do we get? 852? Seems good. Uh, streamline is 100%, even though this part is looking a bit flat. So, how much power production can we fit here? Or, actually, actually, uh, what if, I can't put this in the middle, sad, what if, though, we receive energy, and then we need, uh, one, we need seven or eight. At least eight, I would say, considering we want the lasers to be able to do their thing. Um, I didn't think I would be designing one of these so soon, but all of a sudden it seems like a pretty good idea. Uh, we can fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these around the side. If we don't want to put in heat pipe, that is. That's actually really close to what we want. I think here is the natural place to store water. And then... How many condenser turbines can we actually fit, though? Uh, if we put them here, maybe heat pipe would save us more space. I dare say it will. So maybe move this up a tile or two. Heat 
type. I don't think we have any here. There's some next door I can pick up. Add a layer of pipes to distribute the steam. Uh, perhaps? Okay. So this should be enough to support the engines. Um, but it doesn't leave much energy left over to support the laser turrets. So maybe something uh, a bit more like this. Oh. Wait, yeah, no, this would go here. Actually, the whole point was to fit more. And then... Two, three, four, five. Maybe this would be better, actually. And something like... I guess we could just do it like that. I don't think I like that very much. Uh, what about this instead? I think I like where that's going. Although we could bring this in a tile. And space pipe. I don't think we're going to find a very elegant fit for our storage. Who needs lasers? We need lasers. Does one exchanger feed exactly one turbine, or do you need to redistribute the steam in between? Uh, one heat exchanger gives us 103 steam per second, and the condenser turbines consume 80. So, even with this many, let's see, we've got 9 versus 9. Well, maybe. Uh, nine of these gives us 927. Uh, huh. Okay, that's more of a ratio than I was expecting. Because we've been working with such small numbers, it's just been one to one. Okay. Well, how many... If we need eight of these... We're looking at 480. Oh, that's internal turbine steam. That's not giving us what we're looking for. Um, 80 per second. We need 80 per second times 8. 640. Uh, so that should be... What, seven of these? Yep. In that case, we don't need these ones. But... But how are we going to get the... Steam... Like, I don't think we have room. Because we're going to collide with the um, ion. Actually, are we though? Yeah, those are connected. Except it only lets ion into the ion booster tank. So can we actually get away with this or will it complain? Also, we need eight of these, which doesn't fit very well. That's the layer of pipes for steam distribution. Yeah, um... 
I think... I think it's gonna complain if we have these that close. And of course it's gonna be one off um, being nice and centered. Yay. While only iron can go in the tank, iron can leave the tank into the pipes. Right. Um, what if we move the console up a tile? And then move all of this up. Oh, uh, what if we just move the ion engines back as well? How much integrity do we have? A little bit. Maybe. Steady. Okay, back you go. And... What's our integrity looking like? 877, okay. Uh, so we've got eight of these, seven of these, 721, eight times 80 is 640. Actually, we could do nine. It's actually perfect. Uh, in that case... Okay, I want these... Oh, it's already as close to center as it can be. I ordered lunch, chicken, spinach, pizza, cream, spinach, garlic, grilled chicken, parmigiano, mozzarella, with addition of chorizo. Photo will be in the Discord after the pizza arrives. That sounds great. Uh, let's go with this. And it actually lines up almost perfectly with our engines. Okay. I'm guessing we have plenty of container stress left. We've got 870 container stress to play with. We need the water to get recycled. That's very unfortunate that that's one off. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I th think our water containers are just going to have to be in a sort of awkward position. Uh, this one... Yeah, no. I mean, we could make one more tile here if we could find the space somehow. I could move the whole thing up one tile. Strictly speaking, the console doesn't have to be in the middle. Though we do like symmetry. Uh, so what if... What if we also bring this upper tile and this part not as much and then we can put our tank here That kind of works. We'll still need to pump water in from somewhere. Probably like this. Uh, although currently that's where we've got an ion pump. 
I might have to move all of this a little bit. Um, but so far I like where this is going. Can we get some more of this stuff built, please? Uh, we're obviously going to need to add some pipes here. I guess this is as good a place as any for some storage. We're not going to need to put in nuclear fuel, that feels pretty good. I should probably start heating this thing up already. Um, why don't... Oh, wait. What if I have to move it? No, I think I would rather pipe the... Uh, ion around here. Than have to... We'll see if we can get this thing heated up. And hopefully I won't have to remove it or anything. Now this orbit. There we go. Fantastic. What temperature did we get up to? 3119.09 Celsius. And just for... Okay, I'm going to build that here. It was... 3,000... Well, why don't I go steam? Or heat. Heat pipe. How about this? Heat. There we go. 3,119. And we're not going to worry about the decimal. And I'm going to place a ghost of that next to our energy beam receiver. We'll check on that in about a million years and find that it's still at the same temperature. In case anyone has any doubts about that. Just wear some gloves when moving the 10k hot receiver should be fine. <laughs> Indeed. It'll glow nicely when heated up. Cool. Uh, what else do I want to do here? I do want some accumulators, if only to... Uh, measure if we're consuming power with the lasers faster than we can replenish it. I have to say, this thing turned out to be bigger than I expected. Uh, so where are my accumulators? Oh, here they are. I don't know how many we really need. Some of those, some of those look kind of tacky. We can maybe fit more lasers here, even. What do we got? Uh... 14 lasers times 24 kilowatts is 336 kilowatts. So it's about the same as a ion engine sitting idle. Uh, but yeah, I think those accumulators are going to be more than enough to... I think I'll also put the console here this time. Uh, we're just going to read from an accumulator, and we're going to set speed signal. If it turns out we can comfortably go at 100, we're just going to read from another accumulator, so that, so that our theoretical max speed is 200. Um, and when we go fast enough that the lasers are consuming more power can th than the ship can provide. 
in surplus while it uses the engines. Uh, once that condition is met, the accumulator charge will start to drop, and our target speed will drop with it until we reach an equilibrium. So we need to fill this with water. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, we might want significantly more water than we've stored before for this. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, also, I would really like for this to fit. So can we make that happen somehow? Why am I stuck? I think it was because of the spider leg. Uh, where can I... Okay, I know... Whoops! Nothing happened. Don't worry about it. I need some scaffolding. I don't think I set the scaffolding spiders uh, back to what they should be. Let's go with... yeah, I don't have a preset for them either. Um, scaffolding is in there somewhere. Here it is. Uh, well, first we need robots. Can I just remove everything? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay, we need robots. Uh, 50 is probably enough. It's going to be bottlenecked on recharging the bots if they if they have enough that they have to do anyway. Uh, 50 robots. Maybe some repair packs. Uh, they don't need cliff explosives. Not these guys. So that's two stacks out of 80. Uh, I would kind of also like them to carry uh, pylon substations, uh, radar construction pylons, and some rail stuff. What else? So we've got rail, power, signals, and we can upgrade some of those pylons to radar construction pylons so that we've always got perfect vision. Robots, repair packs, and I think that's it. The rest is scaffolding. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stacks. Uh, let's just go for 70 to make sure there's a bit of extra. 70 stacks. Okay, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna save this as... Scaffold. Scaffold Utron. Oh, and... Trash unrequested items. Okay. And then save that as... What? Scaffold O front. Okay. So this guy... Scaffold O Tron looks good. Send them back to the mall for a second. I think it's 9x9. Nine nine. Is that the receiver? I remember using it on my victory ship, but I seem to have forgotten the exact size of the thing. I know about the neck pipes, but good to know they... This looks bigger than 9x9. Nine nine. I'm guessing you're talking about the 
whatchamacallit. Okay, let's bring them back to here. So I can fit some... So I can push this over to the side, and we'll move this over, and then we can fit some piping. 9x9 nine nine is the biochemical facility. Ah. Yeah, this is, uh, what is it? 13x13. 13 13. It's quite big. Oh, we don't have a substation pile on here. Yeah, this will cut. This will cover everything. And we need some water, which we've got here, but we need to pipe it around. Um, I could get rid of this and. Bring it through like so. Uh, we need to talk to the clamp so that we don't overfill our water. Is this going to reach? It's not. Uh, I think I'll move the clamp. It's fine. It's only going to be sticking out, looking weird. It, who, who would be bothered by that? Maybe I could put it up here. I guess we don't need these two. Um, disconnect that. Okay, so this connects to the clamp. And I have a clamp here. Water is now surprisingly easy to get at. Um, that's a little bit inconvenient. That's too big. There we go. Oh, and I almost forgot we need a pump to... No, no, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Oh, I think we're... I think we are de deleting water here. Whoops. Uh, we need a pump just so that we can control this. And we're going to say water less than 24,500. Because it does tend to put a little bit extra in. But also, I think... Considering the extra storage is over here, I don't know, we'll see. Um, so let's bring this, I can't actually rotate it the way I want to. Rip pipe. Uh, we need eight tiles here. Fantastic. What are the purposes of each of your ships? Uh, this was our first ship. It's basically the very basics, exploring what how the ships work, getting around, um, just using liquid rocket fuel. Uh, this is our battleship. Actually, is this the old battleship or is this the Mark II? Um, I think it's the Mark II. Spaceships, battleship. Yeah. Uh, so this thing has a bunch of artillery, some lasers, 
but also the means to build some walls around itself and supply some flamethrower ammo. Uh, so it's basically a mobile fortress. Just make sure the turbines can always output the con condensate somewhere. Uh, yeah, that's why we have to limit the um, the amount of water in these pipes. First time I've seen someone build a battleship? Well, here it is. Yeah, we had a lot of fun with it, actually. Um, although now we've got the glaives, it's a bit pointless. Um, yeah, so we're reading from the storage tank here and limiting that to 24.5k. So that there's always just a little bit of space left in the pipes. Um, oh, they're already... They're already running. Huh. Products finished. Three. Well, that's cool. So this is also a power plant as long as it's um, sitting here. It looked really cool in action. The next generation should include shield emitters. Would, would love to see the spiders try and eat that. Uh, we could do that. Absolutely. Uh, Trident, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The shield emitters work like that if you use the advanced combat mod. Yeah, I, I forgot about that for a second. It does mention it. Uh, shield projector. It does mention that if you have the combat mechanics overhaul mod, um, that it actually blocks projectiles. But I was also thinking, even if you don't use that, uh, this is like, this is going to work as just like an AOE, right? Um, the asteroids run into it and they get destroyed. So I'm thinking, this is this is almost like um, an energy flamethrower or something. The thing is, I don't, I don't think we'll be using those. Okay, if if we have the combat mechanics overhaul mod, yes, but I don't think we'll be using this offensively against the biters, um, because. We need to build walls outside of the spaceship, so the spaceship itself isn't attacked. I'd rather compare it to an energy wall that regenerates. Okay. Alright, so... So what now? We've got our water, we've got our heat. That's actually all we need uh, to get some power out of these. We need to make room for a pump here. It's actually just enough room. We don't need any circuit control on this. We're just going to fill it up as much as possible. And then, uh, I think now we wait is all that's left to it. We've got a lot of container stress remaining. Um, we could pretty much put almost as many chests. I, I, I won't say as many chests as we could fit in this thing. Um, that would be false. Actually, we just went over. How about this? Nine hundred and twenty? No. 
is there a universe where I want to transmit any more, transport any more fluid? I don't think so. I think I just want the maximum number of chests, but I want it to be symmetrical. But I don't think we can do that. Okay, this is our maximum. Uh, 34 chests is actually quite good. And we could definitely uh, bring this down... Well, if we have the exact same shape with the laser turrets, we can't actually bring this down any tiles, but I would say we could bring this down a couple of tiles. Um... And we'll just do something different with those two laser turrets. Enjoying designing this one. Okay, I don't think we're going to need this robo port here anymore. So now we can bring one up here somewhere uh, so that we can resupply this ship from this network. Oh. I think we need a supercharger just so that we can reach all the chests. Yeah, that's actually really close. And then... Disconnect all that. I guess we should allow power... But we're still going to gain heat here because we're net positive on power all the time. But no, 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 no. I don't want to share power um, if I land somewhere else because uh, we need that to get home. Okay. I wonder how far we can get So, 34 chests, that was the maximum, right? Oh, we can make it symmetrical, because this chest and this one don't line up the same. Okay, so the number one thing I'm doing this for, other than for fun, uh, number one practical reason is so that we can resupply ships with uranium fuel cells. So let's fill a chest with those. Uh, I'm going to save the game real quick. Quite happy with where this is up to. Uh, and I think I will take a short break. Uh, let's hop in our spider. Alright, back in a few minutes. Enough container stress left for roughly one small wooden nightstand? Okay. Alright, back soon.
Okay. Uh, I actually didn't realize I've gone 20 minutes over time already. But we gotta test this thing before we go, right? I was thinking, uh, I had two ideas for how I want to change this before we go. I want to add a nuclear reactor. I think there's only one place we can comfortably fit it. Unless... I... Hmm, no. I think I'm going to move the console. And... That isn't... There's, there's not as much space there as I thought. Okay, what about here? This'll do. We don't need two consoles. Is it going to say there's two consoles? No. Okay. Um, I want a nuclear reactor. And we're not going to use this for the most part. Um, but we've got it there as a backup. We've, we're going to have all the uranium fuel we can eat um, stored in here just in case we run out of power somewhere. My pizza has arrived. The driver... She was smoking hot. Okay. Uh, I do want a... Hmm. How many solar panels would it take to not gradually bleed power if we're sitting idle in, let's say, Nalva's orbit? 3.7 megawatts... Uh, just one, actually. I just need a flat solar panel somewhere. Maybe two would be better. Can we put them here? One and not so much. Um, I think we'll have our... Accumulators here. I kind of want... Okay, we've got room for more laser turrets. I think we'll be bottlenecked on power with this many already. Um, although we've got six on this side and seven on this side. Let's just remove this one. That looks kind of weird. It doesn't really matter how many accumulators we have, as long as we have a few, I think. So how full is our water? Oh, it's still coming in. Wow. Uh, why are we getting six water per second pumped through here? Uh, because something is wrong. Oh. Well, there's your problem. I'm surprised we didn't run into this before. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna connect these. And I'm gonna connect these as well. And we're going to say, read the logistic train stop output. Water has to be greater than zero. Oh, wait, no, less than zero is actually correct. It gives us a negative if we're trying to get rid of all of it from the train. And then light oil less than zero. Okay. So we should see our water almost full here but leave just a little bit of room to run the turbines. And... So we've got this as an emergency. Bonus points, the nuclear reactor itself uh, gains a thousand degrees of heat. 
so it's another bit of energy storage. I could add more heat pipe to have that little bit of extra storage, but no. Uh, so it's equalizing, that's why it's gaining heat so quickly. Does heat pipe, does regular heat pipe go beyond a thousand? I don't think it does. Okay, since we've got nuclear fuel, uh, I do not fear running out of energy. Um, so why don't we test this thing with just a thousand degrees charged up. Let's go to... I nearly clicked... I, I did, I clicked on this as if it was the console. Um, <laughs> let's go to... Calidus Orbit. Oh, and what's the ID we're going to use here? How about... I was going to say 1044, but it's possible that's actually taken. Um... Let's just say 10,000, the maximum heat for this thing. And I almost forgot we want to read from this as target speed. And we also want a constant combinator uh, right about here perhaps. And that's just going to say clamp right side to target left side. And since we're a little bit asymm asymmetrical already, I can probably tolerate just having the uh, spaceship clamp on the right side, I guess. Alright, I feel like I should move the door, though. Um, I could squeeze through here, but... The natural position for the door seems to be this. Alright, cool. Let's give this thing a try, shall we? How fast do you think we're going to get? Every Everyone place your bets. How fast do we get by the time we get to Calidus orbit? Dual Gigafactory is more fun? Not fast enough? We'll see. Okay, let's, uh, let's find out. Launch. 120? too fast. If it's 120... What's happening? We've got heat. We've got water. Output is full. Water is not entirely full. Internal steam... Do we need to remove a little bit of water? No pylon. Right, obviously. I should have remembered that. Okay, uh, I feel like here is a more natural spot for the pylon. Much better. Okay. Uh, if we could go faster than a hundred, I'll have to connect this to the second accumulator. What are we at? 55 already. Oh, we're slowing down. Oh, accumulator charge is getting wre wrecked, actually. What's our density right now? Regular hundred density. Well, this is a lot slower than I expected it to be. 
so far. Not all of the uh, condenser turbines are running. I think we just haven't made enough room for water yet. Um, I can mitigate it to some extent by doing this. Also, the pumps can actually store twice as much as the pipes if I do that. But also, we're going to try and keep this part empty as much as possible. Um, okay, we're not going far. Why don't I just remove... 25,000 water. And accumulated charge is climbing back up. Top speed would appear to be 69. That's a lot slower than I would have expected, to be honest. I'm pretty sure our space trucks can almost do that. Yeah, the engines are not firing all that often. Well, tell you what, what if we, um... What if we just set the speed signal as fast as possible? Oh, do I have... yeah, I can repair this if, if we get damage. Those blinking engines don't look good. Yeah, it's because the accumulator charge is dropping. I think the lasers get top priority anyway. We're at 108. 109. This is a much fatter ship than I would have expected. For my first uh, attempt at going faster. Oh, I nearly choked again. Need to be a bit more careful about that. Okay. Where are we? We are... What way? Okay, ironically, I think this thing would go faster if we have fewer engines. Because they all consume power, even when idle. And our power, our speed is bottlenecked on power. Had to step away, what was the fix? I actually forgot to put the pylon substation back. So yeah, that, that's pretty much all that was. I also added some pumps to make sure there's room for the um, uh, for the water output more often. This is very cool though. Um, it's it's a ship that just runs on renewables. Well, I mean everything's renewable, but you know. Uh, Solar power, water, uh, also iron, I guess. Whoops. But this thing will go... How much heat do we have left? 1100 still. Oh, it is... It is taking a long time to drain that heat. Yeah. Uh, I think this thing could go into Stellar, no problem. Yep, 
even without tweaking it at all. Why both a beam receiver and a reactor? The reactor is just in case. We're not actually using it. It's just so I don't get stranded, that's all. Um, what happened to... What's our target speed? Target speed unlimited. Uh-oh. Because when... Because the accumulator is empty, we're not sending it a, scene, a speed signal. So our target speed is unlimited. We're actually not taking any damage, though. Um, we're going over 100. Our accumulators are empty, we're going over 100 speed, and we're not taking any damage. I don't know what I could use other than reading from accumulators to automatically get a read on how fast we could go safely. I'm actually kind of confused as to how these could be empty, but where... I think the lasers must be a higher priority than the engines. Yeah, that's why. Oh, and we're here. So top speed was, I think, 111. Uh, that is our new record. Uh, I might play around with this, uh, probably literally just removing engines. Oddly enough. Um, might make this go a lot faster. Maybe building the exact same ship, but smaller? Um, like, f maybe even fewer condenser turbines? Maybe not. Step one, just remove some engines. See if it goes faster overall, because we can... Uh, because we can... Feed the engines and laser turrets at the same time. It's always possible to go with gun turrets, makes the power a lot less problematic, that's true. Uh, but yeah, I think that is a good time to... let's go back to Nalvis Orbit. Orbit. Uh, I think that's a good time to wrap it up for today. Uh, so let's find a stream to rate. Who is playing Factorio? Yeah, the only thing is gun turrets is... One more thing. Like, this is... I don't think we could get more minimalist than this in terms of logistics that we need to supply this thing, right? Because... All we need to pump in is water and iron. The heat gets supplied for free. Um, if we make these gun turrets, that's water, iron, and ammo. And we have to... We have to keep the ammo supplied, so we need a bunch of chests up here. I don't like that very much. Chill stream, thank you. I think Cyclomatic is doing any percent speedrun, seems good. Uh, how long has it been since I raided Cyclo? I think it's been a little bit, so why not? Okay, uh, thank you all for watching, you take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or Blueprints if you're interested. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out. Daniel, you're welcome. True, that was a reason why I got rid of them eventually. Now I wonder if flamethrowers would... I don't think they let you put flamethrowers on a spaceship floor. Yep. Um, otherwise, I probably would have included them on the battleship. See you, Veldak. Uh, Midden, take care. Thanks for streaming. Thanks, Chucky, for hanging out.
All right, let's head over to Cyclomatic. Take care, guys. Starters started, which is good. T Hax. Seas, can you do the, do the honors? Good morning, Raiders. Thank you, T Hax, for the raid. Did eight, two, six, ten, ten. That's not straight. 